of some storms may be severe. Monday's overnight temperatures will fall to the mid-60s by Tuesday morning. That's your get ready with the forecast only on 4029. KAKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All righty, we are here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. 866-285-4005 is how you can... Uh, Reach out and uh, get involved in the party here on you know, the McClarty you, Daniel Hotline. Was it was it Bell um, uh, that used to have the um, the reach out and touch someone? I don't think you can do that. That was their campaign slogan. It was uh, AT and T. Was it? Yeah, you can't do that yeah. anymore. It's a crime, it's taking on a whole other uh, uh, meaning, unfortunately, in these uh, these times. All right. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we're here and we're uh, ready to go here on, or as ready as we're going to be. I mean, come on. Not like we've been, uh, you know, cramming hair or anything, or anything yeah, like no, that. No. No. Why would we do that? I mean, come on, that's just gonna get. That in would the, raise the bar. It'll get in the way. It'll just get in the way if we prepare. That's all. Oh, uh, we've got uh, everybody here. DQ is uh, with us here as well. Uh, Hi, D- DQ. Not wearing. I want this noted for the record. Not wearing a Bama sweatshirt today. I thought about it. You did, but okay. you didn't act on the thought, and I didn't. that shows growth i think <laughs> wow or fear i don't know which uh fear from the mob on the internet but let's talk about grilled cheese absolutely let's do that <laughs> could do that all day god that was boring <laughs> <laughs> thank you uh, big mike maybe we'll hear from him today yeah i hope so yeah. we should like have science friday or science monday or something. well that's been taken we could do science monday okay that's it that's available all science right, friday is uh Somebody's doing that already. Are they? Yeah. Who? Oh, yeah. oh it's uh, what do you call it? Uh, Science Friday. Ira Flato on uh, on NPR. Oh, okay, okay. Got gotcha. it's a great show actually. Really interesting. Science Friday. All right. Every now and then, sometimes they get on a boring topic or whatever. But uh, you know, I like I enjoy that show. All right. Okay. There sounds, you go. Sounds like a sounds like a winner to me. We are uh, prepared. I am prepared emotionally for you to overreact to two things today. Baseball team losing a series and the red white football game. I am prepared for your violent overreactions to both. So bring them on. I'm ready today. Normally I would dread a day like today, but for whatever reason, I don't know why, but I'm prepared today. I like, I can handle it. I'm ready to deal. I'm ready to cope well, I, uh, with this. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. So we're, I mean, we all agree we're firing Van Horn after this, right? I mean, uh, two out of three at Alabama. Can we just nudge him into the foundation instead of yeah, just firing I mean, you're him? You're right. You're right. He should be, okay, he, he right. should uh, be reassigned to a uh, different location. DFA? Yeah. DFA or something okay. like that. All right. Um, yeah. I, I think that's fair. Okay. Um, and, and obviously, uh, they should clear out space in the big trophy case uh, to put the uh, national championship trophy. Which in. one is the big trophy case? The one where Larry is. Oh, we're that's getting, the oh. that's the biggest trophy they got. Well, right we can't now, get rid of Larry, right? Well, yeah, I mean, he he's can. An, he's an icon. <laughs> he's an icon. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for uh, all the um, all the overreactions on uh, both sides because you have a uh, you know you have a you know the the tail and green Heisman campaign oh, of apparently course. kicked yes. off on yep. Saturday, yep. and you know all of this stuff. Here's the funny thing about all this. I try and bring this up every time because it's just so unfair to the players, the way we consume these sports. It's just unfair because now he could have a good year, but not win the Heisman. And some idiot out there will think he stinks. And that's just not fair to him. But, you know, 
It's the way the world in today's works. Today's day and age, unless you are one of the top five teams in the country, winning the Heisman is not an option. So, and if you're the, you got to be the quarterback. So he's got to, that part down. Yeah, he's got but, that. I part. mean, yeah, but I mean, uh, forgive me for being the, uh, the 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 old school person here, but let me see him play in an actual game before we start getting his uh, college football Hall of Fame trophy uh, or plaque uh, ready to go. I always like to point. I'm out sorry that about that. He had a great game, but that means your defense had a bad game. See, so, why'd you have to do that? Well, I mean, that that's just just the way it is, but. Yeah. Um, we had somebody live at uh, at the, the red white game who has filed a report with us. We'll really? Look. Yeah, we'll do that later. Oh, okay. I've got all. I don't the, know about this. I got all of the postseason talking points. I should go to a meeting. <laughs> no, no, we don't really don't want you there. It's fine. Uh, we we did that. Um, there is transfer portal news. The football transfer portal is officially open tomorrow, but we've got a oh, a sneak peek of guys fleeing, and uh, they were open for business. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, Are we and, uh, still 69 days from a uh, baseball national champion? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, Check it on that. They only have two losses left in your um, 59 and or 49 and seven. I know. I know. They have two left. I. I they I got burned it. through five already. We're not even to May. It's fine. So they got to go. What are they? 29 and what, what are they? What's the record? Hold on. Yeah, right. Mm. Uh, there's uh, 30 and five. Okay. So there's um. There's 16 more games left. So they have to go 14 and. 14 to 2. Uh, Scott has texted in on the McClarty Daniel hotline, and, and I hate starting it off with calling someone out, but he is correct. Uh, Peter, who is our uh, Australia listener, uh, called in about a oh, month, month and a half ago and told us to <laughs> bet the house on Adelaide in Australian rules football. Just bet the house. Yeah. We're, we're, we're talking about uh, Adelaide. Well, they're off to a one and four start. Well, maybe they and, need to fire the coach. And Peter needs to call in and explain himself. How could you be so wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Peter from he, Bentonville. He should call in because he should. we have to pay for that. And I just love the idea of having to pay for a call from Australia and you just dragging it on as long as you possibly can. <laughs> See, this is when you want me to engage in conversation. Yes. Ah. I'm going out for a sandwich. You okay. just you take it, man. <laughs> it is tax day that everybody gets your taxes done. If yes, any of you, if any of you just me, went, yeah. oh, bleep, yeah. you're in trouble. They got you. Yeah, they got me. Yeah, absolutely. I've adopted a new strategy. And uh, that would be what? I'm not going to pay them until they ask me for it. Oh, I see. I'll file your paperwork. Yeah. That's fine. But until You're you actually ask me for it, I'm not going to give it to you. Okay. Okay. Well, that's... um. What are you waiting on the first like nasty gram or no, uh, they, they take no, your what they, car no, away? No, I file it. They, I have an account with the IRS. I just wait for it to post and then pay it that way. Oh, I see. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, that should be July. Oh, well, you got to. You <laughs> yeah, got, got time money. to you can burn. save up. Absolutely. You I can. burn all yeah, the money yeah, by yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Light it on fire. Yep. That's what uh, you should do. Uh, Mr. Pibb surmising that uh, Adelaide is <laughs> having normal Australian football uh, rules problems. And uh, we should point out that uh, Peter was just that that was this his sense of humor coming up. When oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Peter, you need to call in and explain yourself <laughs> because they are one in four. Including a loss to an expansion club. That shouldn't really. Happen. They yeah. lost. Yeah. They lost to the. Uh, wow. Who's the latest expansion team? I, I uh, the team they played in week one. Oh, I, can't, I, can't, okay. I was so wow. frustrated with Peter that I I, I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is uh, that is unfortunate. Ah, here we go. Guyman in Springdale is texting. Oh well, baseball had a good run onto the football championship season. Don't do it, Guyman. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, do not do it. It appears as though Arkansas struggles to hit the baseball. Yes. I don't know if this is a... They uh, are 13th in the league in uh, in games played okay. in offense. So back in uh, back in January when the basketball team got blown out by Auburn, I, su- I, I surmise that, you know, but we don't know if it's a them problem or an Auburn, Auburn, an Auburn problem. Auburn was really good. Well, it turns out both were true. Um, I don't know if this is an Alabama problem because they unveiled some kid they picked up off the street yesterday. Just threw him out there, and he was he went like eight innings, and it, it was beautiful to was, watch. Oh, for, um, for Alabama, not for us. Yeah, you were like we, before we walked in here, you were reading off like uh, you know, like two for fourteen, one for ten, one for thirty. I mean, somebody got to hit the baseball. Um, Look, I, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing, but uh, they're flailing right now. And, and baseball's funny that way. You're gonna have moments where you you don't look so great, but you don't like to have those uh, slumps as a team. And no. they are uh, they're struggling. So yeah. this is a uh, Zane Adams is a freshman uh, from uh, Porter, Texas. Six four, 
And uh, yeah, there you go. He uh, and today's the SEC pitcher of the week after uh, eight scoreless against the uh, the Razorbacks. Mr. Pitt uh, blaming blaming the swoon on Calipari. Oh, the Calipari swoon. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right, that's interesting. Um, uh, let's see here. I don't know. I mean, look the the um, the um, yeah the the numbers were not great. This is, by the way, I don't know if anybody's heard this yet. This is their first. SEC shutout in five years. Uh-oh. 2019 Uh-oh. at Alabama. How about that? Isn't that weird? Derek, they just don't play well down there. That's baseball, Susan. Thank, thank goodness the tournament is not in Tuscaloosa. Can we do but That's baseball, Bubba. <laughs> we change it, modify it a little bit. All right. More coming up here. Ruskin and Zach, 866-285-4005 is the uh, phone number to reach out and uh, get in touch with the program here on Ruskin and Zach. We'll return very soon. Stay where you are, please. WG Equipment is your home for New Holland ag and construction equipment, sales, parts, and service for high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators. WG Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, WTEquip.com. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Limbird team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Limbird Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LimbirdTeam.com. L-I-M. B I R D. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. As a roofer, spring means the start of my busy season, which means I've got to get organized with help from Beacon. I can save time with Beacon Pro Plus and 24 7 access to live pricing, delivery tracking, order history, and more. Plus, this spring, I can earn $1,000 and the chance to win a $25,000 backyard renovation just by buying my certain tea jingles online with Beacon. No purchase necessary. Now, that's what I call a spring cleanup. Visit BECN.com for official rules and to start earning entries. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hitthatline.com to schedule an appointment. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at precisiondoornwa.com. Financing is available Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. It's the spring sale event going on now at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. 80% off Cali King Adjustable Base and Mattress. Only $7.99. Get a free pillow and protector on purchases over $3.99. Living room starting at $7.97 and dining sets starting at only $1.99. Don't forget 20% off website orders at CheapSleep.net. Don't miss the spring sale at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. Springdale, Fort Smith, Bentonville, and Conway. Your one-stop shop for everything golf. Golf USA in Fayetteville. The best selection, the biggest brands. Titleist, Callaway, Pink, TaylorMade, Mizuno, PXG. Great golf apparel by Travis Matthew. FootJoy, Adidas, Nike, Bad Birdie, and William Murray. And Golf USA has been a Golf Digest top fitter six years in a row. They have full club repair and two hitting base for custom fittings and indoor play. We are as golf as it gets at Golf USA. 3184 North College in Fayetteville. 
electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. When you're looking for your next side-by-side -side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Twin Peaks is always adding exciting cocktails to the menu, like the expertly balanced Sincoro Hall of Fame Margarita. Try it at your local lunch today. Testosterone levels naturally drop in men with age, often causing a lack of energy, anxiety, weight gain, diminished libido, and performance issues. Don't suffer in silence. Call Maverick Male Medical in Fayetteville today for more about testosterone or weight loss therapy. They focus on your excellent care, optimal health, and performance. Call Maverick Male Medical today at 305-8206. That's 305-8206. Or go to maverickmalemedical.com. Dot com. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. We don't care if you love them or you hate them. All we ask is that you keep listening. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. I'm going to reverse my stance yeah. on keeping the cameras on during the break. Yeah. That was the single most stressful commercial break I've ever been through. And I yeah. just sat here. Yeah, you didn't have to do anything. News is brought to you by the good chair because I had to have a place to sit. Get the good chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by and tell Robert Joe Bonamassa sucks. And you want to see it in the good chair. Baseball team dropped two out of three over the weekend to 16th ranked Alabama. Arkansas now 30 and five on the year, 12 and three in the league. They lead A&M by a game in the SEC's Western Division. Arkansas plays Texas Tech tomorrow out at bomb first pitch, scheduled for 7 p.m. Football team held its annual red-white scrimmage on Saturday. Passes were thrown and caught. Tackles were made. Big news came after the game. Sophomore running back Isaiah Augustoff uh, entered the transfer portal on Saturday, uh, ran for 202 yards last year. Now we're getting word that Jacoby Criswell has entered the transfer portal. The transfer portal officially opens uh, for business tomorrow. You're mm -hmm. asking and Zach X after tax. Day. That's right. Well, you got to get the collectives got to pay their taxes. Uh, you're asking right. and Zach X polls brought to you by our good friends at unlimited heat and air in Springdale. Four, seven, nine, two, two, five, 88, oh, nine for all of your heat and air needs. <laughs> Woo. He is thrown. Yeah. Baseball team lost two out of three to Bama. Are we concerned DQ or is this much ado about nothing? Not concerned. 80.8% .8 of you say this is much ado it's about baseball. Nothing. It's baseball. DQ, is everyone out to get you? Um, yes. 50.9% no. of you said no, but uh, there's almost half of our uh, voting population that say uh, yes. They are out to get them. DQ, are you uh, seizing the day or is the day seizing you? The day is seizing me. 73.4% of you said the day is seizing you. DQ, which is worse, mom mad or dad mad? That's a good question. Thank you. 
Probably dad mad. Mm, 37.7% of you said dad mad. Moms hit. What? Yeah, moms take swing at. They'll take a swing at you. Dad won't. Yeah, he'll just um, hear that when he pulls the, the belt out of his fair. pants. That's, I don't, that's fair. I don't know if I've ever actually seen my father mad at me. So Give it some time. So mm. that would be scarier. Uh, do you, <laughs> have you ever knowingly cheated on your taxes? By the way, this question sponsored by the Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> um, no. They are uh, collecting the names of those of you who voted yes. Seventeen point four percent of you said yes. Well, y'all are going to jail. Congratulations. All right, now this is a thinker. Is Tai Chi just a slow motion tantrum? <laughs> <laughs> Your choices: yes, no, or I have to Google it. Yes. 50% of you say yes. 40.6% of you said you had to Google it. You should really Google Tai Chi. Did you uh, do Tai Chi this weekend? Uh, I did not. Oh, man. I'm picturing you like all zenned out. Ah. Think you, <laughs> do you think you could win the Masters if you started on the green from the furthest point from the hole? Absolutely. You could not. Oh, I could. You could not. No. The best club in my bag, the putter. 74.5. Well, that okay. Again, tallest small person. I could uh, do it. 74.5% of you were honest. And said no. Those are your Ruskin and Deck X polls. They're brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air at Springdale. Four seven nine two two five eighty eight zero nine. Now I could win. Uh, I could win at a pinnacle with just the putter from the green. I could do that. Or at the blessings. Uh, pick pick your track. It doesn't matter to me. I could do it. Uh huh. I can putt. Okay. I'm telling you. All right. Because all you have to do is lag, and then get it close, and then knock it in. So you're looking. That's all at, you got to do. That's right. That's you, all you got to do. You could two putt so many holes, uh -huh. and you you put like a 59 on there. Oh, uh huh. I could do that. You could. Oh yeah, of course. Okay. And I don't listen. You know me. I don't. Uh, I think most people can't do these athletic things they claim they can do. I can do this. I can do this. I believe in myself. At the Masters, I don't think so. Um, I at uh, I can tell you if you give me my if, odyssey, if bring you, me my odyssey from the other room. If you it. did it at say St Andrews, absolutely not. I could do it. No way, no way. Because those greens are, I mean, the greens I, at St Andrews are massive. They're very. It's like putting in your garage. I understand that. So I'm just gonna just tap it. Okay. Just a little tap, 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 a -roo. Just tap it in. That's just right. Tap just tap it, it in. in. All right. Right. Let, let's discuss what just happened. Okay. Five minutes ago. Oh, you want to talk about that or be uh. Shooting at 68 at Augusta with I have, just the, no, at just the no, greens. I, I, again, I, it's tax day. We've got enough liars out there. We can, we can <laughs> I can do it. I swear to you. I can do it. Somebody get me on Pinnacle uh -huh. or on the Blessings. I can do this. I swear Why to you. Why does it have to be one of them? Because they're closer, and I don't want to get in a plane. <laughs> well, I mean, we could get you another track around here. We'd spring. SEC's well, right down the street. I don't, street. I don't want to. Okay, I could go there. That's a, that's a it's, nice track. Okay. I'm not going to some goat ranch somewhere right. to do let's, this. Let's, let, let's, let's move on to what just happened because okay, let's this is on. the single most stressful thing that's happened to me on this show. Okay. And I would like and to that's point saying out, something. Yeah, We've gone off air on this show before. Yeah. Our power's been this shut is, off on this show this, before. I almost, I almost I, walked out. I've ruined I, I, his life on okay. this show before. So DQ never, in, in between breaks, never voluntarily comes in here. Yeah. Ever. She sits in the room next to us. Right. Well, without any sort of warning, DQ marches in here and starts goofing around with the camera that's sitting right in front of me. Why? You look really pale. Yeah. Something right. about some light is coming off of you, so half of your face mm -hmm. is completely white. Yeah, like not it is. skin color white, just white. Okay. Yeah. You're you're overlit on you're, your yes. your right side, our left as we Are watch it. Are any of you feeling the stress that I'm feeling you, right now? Well, no. now I can see the sweat a little bit more on your forehead. Because it's eight hundred degrees well, in here. Yes. We have no air conditioning yes, but again. <laughs> I just wanted to see so, if I could fix it. So DQ is messing around with the camera. Then you got my boy involved. Which is the worst what did I do? Which is the worst. What'd you do? You stood up, white balance the camera. That'll <laughs> fix it. And, what, and then he sits down and goes, well, that made it worse. So yeah. then these two chuckleheads start flipping the lights on and off. No, he did. He's yeah. blocking lights with a piece of paper. Is that any better? Yeah. Is that any better? Yeah. Unfortunately, none of our efforts worked. <laughs> no, you're still pasty on one side. I don't care. You're yeah, overlit. But... I don't know. What I'm it is. overlit. Yeah, you're overlit. No, I am overserved. I don't know why, though. Is I it, can't figure out why. I don't know. You're not what, overlit like in with my eyes. It's just on the camera. I don't know eye. what light is shining on you to make this happen to you. Better? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's good. better. That fixed it. That right. fixed that, it. That, that fixed it right I also there. want to show people something here. Uh -huh. If I could use my camera here. Um that um 
you know, we're not exactly using like you know the greatest like. Oh, uh, this is. There's Zach's, Meta. There's, you know, there's Zach's camera. <laughs> I mean, we didn't exactly blow the budget out on these cameras. No, these so um, cheap. just uh, just know that ahead of time. Who cares? All right. Sorry, I, I care. But no, 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 no. Then it was the the, the moving of the, the tripod, moving it around, and you talking to him and blocking light, turning lights on. Yeah, we were trying to figure it out. We don't have a lot of resources, oh, gosh. though. Gosh. I'm sorry. Guys, <laughs> I was I'm just white. trying to fix it. But you're not <laughs> that I'm white. Pale. You're being... The light is too harsh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was trying to fix it because there's no logical reason why it can't be fixed. But oh. we tried to, and it's not possible. Okay. What? Well, how do we do? Uh, let's go back to something else here. How do we? Um. Oh, you're gonna put your mask on. He's gonna put a wrestling mask. Yeah, you'll be even hotter. You'll then. don't do it. You'll. Sweat. You can't win. The floor's coming up again. I know. I got big holes in mine. There's a floor over here. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to this. Yeah. All right. How do you win this uh, wager of just putting? To win the the thing, like how do you would you like if Scheffler was eleven under? Do I have mm -hmm. to be eleven under in one round or in four rounds to do this? What are the parameters here? You'd have to do it in one round. In one round yeah, to go to, you, to shoot a if, on a seventy two, I'd have to shoot a sixty one. Correct. Okay, that can do that. No, you can't. Yes, I can't. Here, just here's, putting. Here's the thing. Are Is, you nuts? Yes, you're. You are wildly unathletic. On the, on There's the, nothing athletic in golf. You've got 90 year olds that play it, right? And they've been playing their whole lives. The par fives, I think you could birdie. The par threes are the ones that are going to cause you problems. It's just, it's just like a regular tournament. You just have to get a three. That's all you have to do, right? Get a three. I think the fives you you would be able to you'd be able to birdie those. The fours, you if you can just hold your own there. It's the threes. Ah, I'd be fine with the swales and the bumps. Again, we're putting you as far away from it as possible. I know. On the green. I know. Okay. I know. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I could do it. I, I maybe you. You need. Do I get a looper to help me uh, read the green, or no, just got to figure right, it out? You're on your own. Okay. All right. Where are we gonna do this at? I. What? I can get you on a course that that we can. Um, Does would, it have good greens? Yeah. Okay. I'll do this. I'll go. I will go to my old house and steal my own putter and do this. <laughs> you never mind. You, you mind. No, 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 oh, no, no. I want, I, okay. want my, I want my putter. Yes. Okay. Yes. I could do this. Can we tell you, I, I can't drive it worth a bleep, but I can put, I'm telling you, can you, can you, um, <laughs> I don't put this nice. Like, yes. You. Can you, uh, um, can you play even par on a putt putt course? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see, under par. Oh, no, 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 of no. course, no, no, yes, I could do that. We can go do that too. Any kind of putting challenge you want, I, I am game and, and this because is, I don't have to run, this is not or jump or do is, anything. This isn't there are no gimmies, there's no inside the leather, yes, of course. And you Fine. get you get one club, Fine. and one ball. One ball, if you roll it into the lake, <laughs> you're SOL. <laughs> it's over. No, a one one sleeve of balls. That's three balls. Fine. Three balls. Three balls. Okay. All right. Well, all right, we're doing this. Can we have someone out come out and tape it and we can put it on the internet? And... Absolutely. All right. I want my triumph seen by dozens of people. DQ, you, uh, you, have you played golf before? No, but that's yeah. something that I want to start doing. Why? Because I live very close to a golf course now. Oh, okay. Really? Wow. Yes, and I even have Shadow Valley. Yes, <laughs> of course. Someone's giving me <laughs> their clubs. Huh. Oh, you're getting clubs. Yeah, men's or women's clubs. I think they are men's, but this person who I'm, I'm kind of the same height, or they're not oh, that much yeah. taller than me. So I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Especially just to try it out. There's you know? no such thing as men's or women's clubs. It's the length of the um the yes. The some of them have the pink grips. Those. <laughs> It's just the length of the shaft on the club. It, it, as long as they fit you. Lefty or righty? Right. Okay. She says. What? Right-handed. Well, okay, yeah. Are right. the clubs right-handed? I, uh, I hope so. <laughs> Daisy wants to know if uh, we're taking Ty. I think I can vote unanimously on that. No. Are we taking Ty? Yeah. Taking him where? <laughs> Maybe take him into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. So, again, for those of you just joining us, the challenge is this. Put me on the furthest spot on a green from the pin. And like if it's a par four uh, on of, the hole, of, I have I have to get it in. Of my choosing. 
And I have to go 11 under. Basically, I'm going to put you on the fringe. On just the greens. On uh, just the greens. You have to go 11 under. I don't have under. to hit one tee shot. Not one. Okay. I could do this. I have to shoot a... If we're using the Masters... If we're using Augusta's 72 par, I have to shoot a 61. When do you want to do this? Whenever. Whenever. What and you know what? Make it dry so the greens will be fast. Oh, you oh you oh you want a fast track? Yeah, okay. I mean let's let's okay. simulate it as much as we can. Absolutely. That's uh, now, yes. When you get a five on the first par three, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I have back spasms okay. so, so, and right. uh, and okay. I'm gonna have to withdraw from the tournament. Like all, Tiger all right, Tiger. Okay. Yes, that's right. All right. Yeah. I know. I know. Somewhere in our our merry band of idiots, we have a golf course guy. I just need to rent 18 greens. Yeah, but we don't want one of these like goat pastures out there. No, no, no offense, but I mean we need a, we need a real track here. All right, we're, we're we, not we got to do this. No, nothing that's aerated. I need your greens in one piece. Right, right, right. Yeah, we'll be on and off in 40 minutes. Oh yeah, this won't take long. No, yeah, not yeah. at all. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now here's an, somebody says over under 70. Hey, I could under. We're going under. Yeah, I'll, at the worst, I'll shoot a sixty-five. Just put it. The worst. Yeah, sixty-two I, though. I'll I'll, I, I'll win uh, sixty-one. Yeah. Wouldn't it be something if it came down to the last knee right. knocker? Wouldn't that be something? Arturo's right. It's sixty-one to tie. It's sixty to win. sixty to win. All right, game on. Okay, sixty to win. Yeah, I. Yeah. yeah. When was the last time you putted a golf ball? Hmm. That, that's all I need. Five, six years, maybe. <laughs> and it was at a putt putt in Rogers. So it's not exactly on an actual green. <sighs> that's three strokes a hole. Three, that's a three putt. That's a three putt. Oh, Nothing to it. You just got to get it there and then just tap it in. Yeah. I, get it there it, and tap it it's in. It's funny. I mean, that's everybody's plan. Tap, tap, right? tap a roo. Okay. That's it. All right. I'm doing this. Okay. All right. I will. Uh, I will, uh, the only question is, do I lose on purpose? Because it's better for the show if I mm. lose. It's better for the uh, show. Already hedging. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's the only question. Yeah. Okay. I uh, I love you, man. But no, it's not gonna. I can do it. Now you're not beating a 61. Now, is, you might we finally a, found a challenge you, I can do. You might hit it. You might shoot a 65. That's, that's pretty sounds, good. That, oh no, 65 is great for putting from the fringe. Um, not six, the fringe. Right. At, right on the edge of the no, green. No, no, from the fringe. Not the the second cut, not not the not the fairway, not the rough. The fringe is where you're putting. From. I want to be on the dance floor. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're, right. you're in putter territory the whole way. Uh, Bob and Branson on the McClarty Dino hotline. I don't gamble, but I have a thousand dollars against Derek. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. I. Uh, I'm sorry. I I probably shouldn't have brought this up, but I. I, I just don't see it. Now, your dad? Absolutely. He, he oh, he's, a, he's a terrible putter. Terrible putter. He's really? good from like 100 out. Okay. 100 and in, forget it. Okay. Right. <laughs> I have okay. no idea. I have no idea. I'm talking out my butt now. I don't know. See, I, I mean, I've, I've played since I was eight. And I'm thinking to myself, three. I mean, I've four jacked from, uh, from, I mean, from 15 feet. Well, that's because, you know, some people are able to handle the pressure some people aren't that's the way what that, are you <laughs> i can handle the pressure oh you can okay all right um wow we should have a uh for real though uh no no uh, fooling we should have a show um uh putt putt outing at some point just the three of us just the three of us and maybe uh you know partners or whatever and we do that too because the three of us well, that sure. might be kind of weird go ahead shame me that's fine <laughs> That's you cool. can go. You can find one in about four seconds. What are you talking about? Hey, I need a plus one for a putt putt out. That's That'd right. That'd be so fun. I love mini golf. Me too. It's great fun. Uh, Graham is willing to put 10,000 against. Man, all right. <laughs> Very good. Can I have the, uh, can I have the, the, my, oh, yeah, the, the, the prop here? Guys, you got a. You got Jacoby Criswell leaving, and these idiots are talking about putt putt golf. What the hell's going on around? Right? We just talked about Jacoby jumping in. You alluded to it. I don't know if no, we talked it, about it. We did. This is our catch all. Oh, we talked about it. We did. <laughs> we just mentioned it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jeff Fort Smith says golf courses hire me to do their gardening around the greens with my seven iron. Oh, wow. Okay. 
I uh, I was at a course around here one time when I played. This was like 15 years ago. And I swear to you, I lost a ball in the fairway. Yeah, it happens a lot. <laughs> in happens, the fairway. It happens a lot. There was that one patch that was unmowed, and I, I hit it as straight as an arrow, and just, I can't find it. Uh, BE is willing to be my plus one, but only with reasonable expectations. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow well, that's, that's oh now here you go house farm what about a round with john daly on his course he plays straight up you start by putting at the furthest point could you beat daly wait a minute Let's explain all right again. daly plays it for plays it straight you drop on the fringe could you beat him he plays it straight Oh, this is like our Wallace Spearman challenge. Right. Where you run from the 50 and he was, runs from the goal line yeah. and he wins. It was the 42. It was the plus the plus eight. As you know, I a, think that uh, John Daly could beat me if he just played regular golf and I putted the whole time. Well, what's I think, the difference? I don't know. Scheffler just carded a 61. Well, that's over four days. What did you do yesterday? Oh, hold on a second. What's a real, what realistically uh, happened here? Let's see here. There's a leaderboard on this stupid website. He went 68 yesterday. 66 in round one. Okay. So if I do 65, I then be the lowest. What the low amateur get? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> what the low amateur get at Augusta National? Uh, Shipley, 71 was his lowest round. See, I think... Uh, I think you would struggle more than you think. It's not just it. It's not the lag that's going to get you. Uh, it's yeah. the four footer that rims yeah. out. Oh, horseshoe. Yeah, uh, that, okay. that that's the one that uh, that I think is going to get you. All right, Russ, going to Zach with you here. Eight six six two eight five four zero zero five is how you can uh, join us here on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. I think we're on to something here. It'll be fun. Yeah. All right, uh, we'll be back here and. Um, We'll have more stuff for you after these important messages. So stay with us here on Ruskin and Zach. Y'all, it's Melinda at Fantasy Sports Cuts. You know, Fayetteville's hair joint for men. Did you know your haircut can accentuate features about your face you may not like? That's why you need Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll work with you to create the perfect look for you. If your current barber isn't cutting it, come see us at Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll have you leaving feeling like a winner. And we all like winners. Book your appointment today at Fantasy Sports Cuts, where the winning look can be found. Fantasy Sports Cuts, Fayetteville's hair joint for men and your little men in training at Mission and Crossover in the Heart Shopping Center. We'll see y'all there. I like to be active. And as you get older, I know it because I am older. You're more prone to injury. And I could not get rid of the pain. QC Kinetics patient Diane Richardson talking about how a hiking injury left her in awful pain. No one wants to live in pain. I certainly don't want to live in pain. I don't have time for pain. Diane had heard about regenerative medicine. So she called QC Kinetics and started treatment right away. And the results were incredible. I couldn't believe it. I honestly was skeptical, but the pain went from a 10 to a zero. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in using natural biologics. Healing properties from your own body to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. There's no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. The result was phenomenal. I mean, I was not feeling any pain. I'm able to do everything that I want to do. If you have pain from arthritis or injury, this may be the solution you're looking for. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. It was a game changer. Call QC Kinetics, 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. The greatest pairings start with things that were great on their own. But when combined, you get something even better. And that's what happened when Branson and TYM Tractors joined forces. Two companies with a heritage of building great tractors. Combined to bring you something even better. They know you want a reliable machine that is ready to work for years to come. Branson TYM Tractors know you want a versatile tractor too. They offer many different models to help you cover ground or fit into tight places. And all Branson TYM tractors are available with tons of attachments. 
months to help with your next job. And they know you want a tractor that is also affordable. That's why they believe in offering a tractor with all the capability of the competitors for less money. Go ahead, compare prices. You'll see the best value is a new Branson TYM tractor at Tatum Motor Company in Anderson, Missouri and Tawnytown, Arkansas. I'm Paul with Tatum Motor Company. Visit us online at TatumMotor.com. Welcome to Lighthouse Financial, where they understand your financial life is more than a rate of return. With over 60 years of combined experience, the Lighthouse Financial team of experts look to help reduce the amount of taxes you'll pay during your retirement years. If your current advisor isn't incorporating taxes into your retirement planning, then give Lighthouse Financial a call at 479-696-8234. That's 479-696-8234 or online at lhfinancial.net. You won't miss a moment of the action at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. Cold drinks and hot food specialties, sure to score points with your entire crew. Come watch all the games at On The Mark, 6,000 square feet of sports entertainment with over 40 flat screen TVs and the best smoked wings. Only at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill, 2588 North Gregg Avenue in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. On The Mark, all the games, all the time. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Hey, Razorback fans, Alumni Hall is your ultimate Razorback shopping experience. The best and largest selection of licensed apparel for the whole family. Nike, Champion, Columbia, Onward Reserve, Peter Millar, plus Yeti accessories and gifts. Arkansas students, faculty, and military receive 10% off in-store with ID. And you can earn cash back with our Hall Pass rewards. You can get $10 off for every 150 points you earn. Alumni Hall, located next to Whole Foods or shop alumnihall.com. Alumni Hall, where Razorback fans shop. I'm meteorologist William Morrison with your 4029. Get ready with the forecast. After a warm day today, temperatures will be unseasonably warm overnight tonight. We'll wake up tomorrow, temperatures below the mid 60s. Monday will feature sunshine and gusty winds with increasing clouds. Temperatures will climb to the low 80s. By late Monday evening, showers and storms are possible. Some storms may be severe. Monday's overnight temperatures will fall to the mid 60s by Tuesday morning. That's your get ready with the forecast only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. Welcome to the entertaining portion of the broadcast day. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All right, we're back here at uh, 18 minutes until the hour. Here on Ruskin and Zach, 866-285-4005. Hey, you could join us on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. All right. That was off to a good start so far today, right? Yeah, yeah, we're Doing off and Sure. We got a text uh, on the McClarty Daniel Hotline here from uh, Charlie in Lynn, Arkansas. I don't know where that is. Okay. There is Lynn, Arkansas. Let's see here. Lynn is in Lawrence County in the northeast corner of the state. Wow. Yeah. Like up near Gosnell territory? Like, um, I guess that's further eastern. It's the seat of Tennessee. Lawrence County. Hold on. Here. Wow. Walnut Ridge. Okay. So, like, uh, you know, uh, west of uh, kind of Paragool, northeast of jo- northwest of Jonesboro. All right. That's where Lynn is. Oh, way to go, Lynn. Pin him. This is what uh, this is what Charlie uh, Charlie writes. Charlie writes: uh, Calipari will not bring us a championship, but he will build our brand. Well, that's interesting. I thought everybody uh, assumed the championship was going to happen. What happened? We're already uh, off the bus. Anyway, that's what Charlie's thoughts on that. Uh, Zach had to step out and take a phone call regarding the uh, air conditioning DQ of this place. So. Uh, so uh, that's uh, what's going on there. Is it getting hot in there? Yes, it is. 
it's uncomfortable. I, hot is a uh, you know a relative uh, word. Um, so now it's just us right now until uh, he gets off the phone. All right, uh, let's see here. Thank you, Charlie. I looked this up by the way. Um, the um, Musselman had 126,000 followers on X. Has Cal has one and a half million. One and a half million. Oh wow! And um, um, a Musselman was uh, uh chasing down um, you know, uh, transfers this weekend at uh, at uh, Penn or wherever. A uh, Cal was hang was getting some sort of lifetime achievement award. Yeah. Why the university didn't put out a release on this, I don't understand. Um, he's getting a, a, a like a, the Naismith Award, uh, uh, Ring of Honor or something like, something like that. And he's hanging out with Caitlin Clark and Jason Sudeikis. It's not bad. I did see photos of that. Yeah. I do feel like, though, on Muscleman's part, though, he did a pretty good job with getting impressions and stuff because you saw, like, the ranking of coaches with the most social media impressions. And Cal Perry was one, obviously, but then Muscleman was, you know, a close second, Mm. even with not even close to as many followers. Yeah. I don't know. He did. He uh he was out there. He's hanging out with the uh, and and, uh, and and Juju from uh USC. She was out there. Yeah, and the, Juju uh, Watkins. Juju Watkins. Yeah. By the way, WNBA draft tonight yeah. on uh e- on Big ESPN. Caitlin Clark going to the uh, Caitlin Clark had a weekend. She had she was this on uh, SNL. She was on a weekend update, uh, playing the perfect foil to uh, Michael Che. That was a uh, that was a well done um, uh, bit. There on update with her, uh, you know, uh, making fun of him, making fun of the uh, WNBA mm-hmm. and women's sports and whatnot. Uh, that was good. Um, could have worked a little bit more on reading the cards, but that's difficult. Oh, well, I mean, it's yeah. not that it's, 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 a, it's first, a hard first time doing. It's very it, difficult. Right? So I'll, I'll give it a pass. But that was really funny. And then um, she was at the uh, the banquet there mm-hmm. with uh, with Calipari. So uh, not bad. And tonight she's going number one to the uh, Indiana Fever, unless somebody in the Fever front office. Has some sort of brain bleed in the. Uh, hey, Derek, the you never know. Start. It's draft night. Somebody <laughs> could, uh, somebody could throw a boatload of picks at him and you know move by. To the fever. If, Do you, if what you if, win one game, you still draft her. What if the fever like are so nonchalant about it that the time runs out, <laughs> and then whoever's number two is like running up there with their card. We want her. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this will not happen, but it's just funny to think about, you know, being too nonchalant about a about a sure thing like this. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's tonight. There is a, uh, possibility of a, uh, Springdale product going in the, uh, yeah, in the WNBA yeah. draft hey, we, tonight, right? We were actually, we we're talking about this, um, uh, some friends of mine this morning, um, Marquisha Davis, who was a Springdale girl, played four years up at Springdale. Is she the all-time scorer in Springdale women's <laughs> basketball scorer, history? Scorer, rebounder, block shot. All of them? <laughs> she's like fourth in assists. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's the best player I've ever seen in any, I mean, just completely a dominant player. And uh, and she's looking to go somewhere between 17 and 25 tonight in, in all the mocks that I was looking at. Um, really great kid. Love, love Marquisha to death. And, uh, you know, really excited for her. We're having a little thing over there, a little watch party over at Springdale. Cool. Going to get to going to get to watch her go. And I've never watched the WNBA draft. I hope it's it's as fun as the uh, the other drafts before. So it, it'll be cool. And and to see one of our own kind of get up there is is pretty cool. She's, we were, we're trying to figure out, is, is she the best uh, women's player ever from the state of Arkansas? Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to. Th- I'm just. I mean, where Chelsea, was Chelsea uh, was from Tulsa? Where was or, or, um, Oklahoma? Where was uh, Shamika Christian from? She's from Louisiana. Okay, well, she played a while yeah, for the Liberty yeah. up in the. Uh, I think she was from Louisiana. If I'm not, I'm, I may be getting her confused with somebody else. She's from Hot Springs. Okay, all right. So okay, she's one. It says uh, on Wikipedia, which okay. of course is never wrong. <laughs> yeah, she'd be one then. Yeah. And, uh, who am I? Of. Um, but no, it, it's pretty cool. Got to watch her for four years, did virtually every one of her games. Yeah. And uh, to see her you know, all grown up now and heading to the WNBA is pretty cool. Yeah. About that. Uh, what'd you think about? Uh, we were talking about Charlie's text that Cal will not bring a championship, but will build the brand. Well, I think, think that's already done. The the brand part of it. I mean, he bring he brings brand name recognition. I, I said this the day he was hired. If he, Eric Musselman, and you know, fill in the blank, Ed Cooley walk into a gym, who do you know? You oh, know, Calipari. Right, yeah. yeah, right. So, yeah. so one and a half million followers. Yeah. On X. Na- name recognition 
facial facial recognition. I mean, he's leaps and bounds ahead of everyone else. Right. Um, now here's the thing, and and I was you know, like with Musselman, it was every day Arkansas reached out to this guy in the portal. That kind of I I don't think Cal operates that way. I think he knows who he wants, and he's pretty good at closing the deal. Um, you know the the seven footer uh, Bradshaw, the 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 young man that uh, he was the first one to decommit from Kentucky. He went to Ohio State today, but it. it all of those guys are now in the portal, and you got to figure that John Calipari has a shot at getting some of them. Uh, and, and the, the roster will come together pretty quick. He's not a he's not a spray and pray type, you know, where you offer fifty guys and hope that ten commit. I think he's probably going to offer ten and hope that he gets seven, yeah. and then fill out the roster from there. Yeah, but I do expect, and and this is without question, I do expect the high school recruiting to go through the roof. That you're going to start to see not just our, not just Arkansas's homegrown kids, but uh, but nationally you'll see guys coming here. Really expect that because that I mean that's his bread and butter. It's always it's always been his bread and butter. It would be strange, right, if there was a, a lot of talent in Little Rock and even Calipari was like, no, we're good. <laughs> we don't. Wouldn't that be weird? Because I mean, it, it doesn't. Uh, that's the thing that um, well, Musselman tried it that one year and then just had a miserable experience as we all did during the Nick Smith year. I think that was a miserable experience for uh, all parties involved. He was not the player he was. Uh, we were told he was going to be by the uh, so-called experts who have, you know, covered him since the fourth grade or whatever. Uh, it's funny how uh, you cover someone for seven, eight, nine years. Maybe the reporting's a little bit biased. Maybe, um, maybe the analysis maybe. is a little bit biased maybe. by your friendship. Maybe. Maybe. maybe just a little bit, maybe. Yeah. But um, anyway, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fascinating. Let's it's gonna be really, really interesting. Um, you know, to see what this and again I, we, with Musselman, it was a thousand miles an hour. Cal seems to be a guy that's not he's not an internet guy. You're not gonna see him, you know, doing a lot of things. We're not gonna see you know McDonald's Happy Meals in front of him when he gets McDonald's All American. Highly doubt that'll happen. That's just not that's not his style. Yeah. This seems to be he seems to be more. I don't want to say cloak and dagger about it, but he's more. He's more he's old school versus, you know, the the newer guys. But results are the results are obviously there. And he'll be uh, I, I I would imagine there will be no less than four or five five stars on that roster by the time it's over. Right. The question is, but, when you get when you get to players six, seven, eight, nine, what do you have? Well, that's the, where championships are the won. question is, uh, how much are you going to win? Because he's been getting the most or one of the most talented rosters in the sport. And the results have not matched up to that over the last few years, and that was at Kentucky. So, uh, and also, another thing here on Kentucky real quick. Now, we all agree that Arkansas's welcome event was pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. So this is not a knock on right. Arkansas. Kentucky's event was cooler. And I love the Arkansas <sighs> event, but the Kentucky event, yeah. first of all, the arena was packed. It was. They drive this man in on a bus, and then he's walking out holding the trophy that he helped them win in 96. You can't do much better than that, can you? And I hate Kentucky. With a passion of a thousand suns, I hate Kentucky. That's S-U-N-S, not S-O-N-S. Um, but that was pretty cool. You got to uh, give the devil their due well, on that one. But, I mean, that's that's their thing. And, I mean, they were going the, – the funny thing, and, and watching some of the national guys react to it, it's – you know, and, they, and they're right. I, you, you know, we, we, got, we thought that the, the reception for Mark Pope was going to be really, really negative. Well, Twitter is – one percent of the population and they're all a holes um so you know it's it, good for him but yeah. he knows that as soon as you know as soon as he got to work the next day the pressure starts you know it's not like a normal place where you have this ramp up and you're going to have this honeymoon period man he's going to be expected to win and win quickly the bar is very high. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't like Cal was having, you know, seven and 25 seasons. No, 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 no. They were winning, they were but winning. they weren't having the uh, NCAA success. Well, he can't, they go 25, he can't go 25 and 13 and get bounced in the second round. He's going right. to have to he's going to have to be in the Sweet 16, the Elite Eight. He's got to get them back there quick or he's going to he's going to start to feel. No, they'll they'll uh, they'll reset in four years probably, or, or less than that because they're um, they're a, uh, a bit more um, impatient there. Now, the all fan bases are impatient if the fans care, but Kentucky's a little bit different. They're it built is. Different. It's a very, very different. They're built different. Area. All right. This is ESPN Arkansas and hit that line.com. This is uh, Ruskin and Zach and our podcast every day.
that I work very hard to bring to you people. You do. Very hard. Hours and hours late into the night. Well, okay. And it's brought to you by United Roofing and Waterproof. Enjoy Viviano and his team. Service commercial, residential, and industrial roofs. Consultations are always free. You can schedule that online at unitedrw.com or call Joey at 479-312-7369. 312-7369 for United Roofing and Waterproofing. We'll be back very soon. It's Monday, April 15th. I'm Phil Reed. This is your 4029 News Update. The trial of a 20-year-old facing murder charges after a high-speed chase in Fayetteville begins today. Noah Cargill is accused of killing 56-year-old David Pemberton. Today in Fort Smith, the former Crawford County deputy accused of using excessive force in a violent arrest caught on camera is set to change his plea. The 2024 Arkansas fiscal session continues today in Little Rock. Lawmakers will consider more proposals related to the governor's $6.3 billion budget plan. The eastbound lane of North Street in Fayetteville is set to close at the intersection with college today. City leaders say this is for the North Side Corridor project kicking off. From the River Valley to Northwest Arkansas and everywhere in between, make 4029 your home for the best live, local, and late-breaking news. We love our backyard. This year, we added an outdoor kitchen. We couldn't wait to show it off, but what happened? Mosquitoes. Basically, we did all this work for them. Instead of providing food and entertaining our guests, we became the food. We wasted all that time and money on a yard we couldn't even enjoy. Then, we called Mosquito Joe. After just the first treatment, Mosquito Joe gave us our yard back. Now, we're the favorite neighborhood hangout. Mosquito Joe makes outside fun again. Visit arkansas.mosquitojoe.com. I love baseball season. It's the best time of the year. Every Friday, we get to talk shop with one of my favorite former pitchers, James T. 12.15 on Friday is my favorite time of the week. I love joining you guys on halftime to talk about the baseball team and Teague Law Firm. You know what we always say, if we can't help you, we'll talk baseball. Don't miss James Teague with the Teague Law Firm every Friday right here at 12.15 on ESPN Arkansas and hitthatline.com. The one-two. He struck him out swinging. Courtney Hollingsworth Auto Body, family owned and operated for over 40 years, is your collision repair specialist. Only 15% of collision repair shops achieve iCar Gold Class status, the highest training level recognized in the industry. Courtney Hollingsworth is proud to be one of them. Put your vehicle repairs in the hands of the experts. Call Courtney Hollingsworth Auto Body today at 479 751 3801. That's 751 3801. And online at CourtneyHollingsworth.com. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofers.com. When you're looking for your next side-by-side -side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Get ready for adventure with unbeatable deals at Wheels RV now through the end of February. We're rolling out the red carpet for you with our exclusive employee pricing event on select in-stock trailers. That's right. You pay what we pay. It's our way of saying thank you for choosing Wills RV. Employee pricing on select models. RV show pricing on all new and used inventory. Hurry in. This offer is for a limited time only. Visit Wills RV today for details and to start planning your next great adventure. Seek, explore, discover with Wills RV.
Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Limbird team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Limbird Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LimbirdTeam.com. L-I-M. B-I-R-D. Trash. We've all got it. Cards Recycling specializes in affordable residential and commercial trash pickup. Operated with customers in mind, Cards takes the job out of your hands. Remodeling your house? Cards has temporary roll-offs for cleanouts, construction, and much, much more. Need a porta potty They've got that, too. Cards is the exclusive provider of solid waste and recycling services for the University of Arkansas. If you're looking for industry-leading service standards, call 877-59-CARDS or online at CardsRecycling.com. Cards Recycling is the official residential and recycling company of the Ruskin and Zach Show. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Hi, right, we're back here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. ESPN Arkansas and hitthatline.com. 866-285-4005. Did you uh, to see what happened? Uh, CBS screwed the pooch on this uh, Billy was, Joel concert. I, I was long since asleep. What happened? Now? Okay, so what happened was, uh, you know, all this stuff, there's not any person in a room hitting a button anymore. It's all automated with computers and stuff, right? So the Masters ran long. It was supposed to go Masters at Central Time. at uh, 60 minutes at 6. Mm-hmm. The show called Tracker at 7, Billy Joel 8 to 10. Okay, well, the Masters ran long as we were. Uh, I don't know why it ran long. It's not like, uh, you know, there was any real drama in the last five or six holes. But uh, anyway, um, so everything got pushed back. Well, nobody, um, something got screwed up. So Billy Joel's playing Piano Man. Of all songs to cut off. Is that his last song? I don't know if it was the last okay. one. Um, we're getting uh, people sending us stuff, and I'm seeing stuff on the Internet about this. Um, but they uh, just cut it off and went to the news. This- so he's like, "Sing us a song with it now." Here's your forecast. <laughs> so, just just so that I'm clear on this, was that this is a network or was this a hard out? Uh, somebody said it for it like 10 it p.m. Hard. and I, I wasn't or, watching. Yeah, whatever it was, 10 okay. whatever the time was, and he just cut off in the middle of piano. Yeah, that, 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 you gotta- the special was recorded a few weeks ago, so this was all, in theory, a recorded special. You're supposed to limit. Whoopsies like this because mm-hmm. it's all you it's know, all recorded. You, you can know when it ends. You can control it all. Why you have did, total control. This may seem like a stupid question. Why didn't they start sixty minutes JIP? Well, because you don't do that with sixty minutes. You you well, you, if you don't, it's, that's a, it's an this institution. Is how things like this happen. You can't join sixty minutes in progress. It's an institution. What are you talking about? Institution. That's right. That's yes. a fun word. Yes, isn't it, it is. Yes, marriage. Yeah. Yes. Um, the uh, CBS has put out a statement regarding this. Um, a network programming timing error ended last night's Somebody Billy Joel special. What the hard time was approximately yeah. two minutes early in the oh Eastern and Central God, Time two Zone. Minutes? We apologize to Mr. Joel, his fans, our affiliated stations, and our audience whose viewing experience was interrupted during the last so song. I, it was just in a, it was only in the the Midwest and the Central regions. Is that right? Or Eastern the, and Eastern Central Central Time Zone. Okay. Yes. So, the, so the the West Coasters they got the whole thing, and it's probably all available on Paramount Plus today. If you want to go mm-hmm. watch okay. that, don't uh, do that. They will be re-airing the special April nineteenth at eight o'clock Central, nine Eastern on CBS because of this um, 
snafu. Two minutes. Yeah, two oh, minutes. All right. But, it, I mean, it's not like, you know, he's, it's not two minutes of, uh, you know, uh, sleeping with the television on. It's two minutes of piano, man. Like his biggest song. <laughs> These are great questions here. <laughs> um, is 60 Minutes the only TV show in history without a theme song? Yeah, it's just a ticking, right? right yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Why couldn't we just call it 58 Minutes? I don't know. The, Do we I need don't to know. see Anderson Cooper again? I say I no. don't know. Uh, All right. Morley Safer still there? No, he's dead. Ed Bradley? Dead. Diane Sawyer? Alive, but not on there. Uh, Leslie, what was her name? Leslie Stahl. Leslie Stahl. Yeah. Still. Okay, all right. Yeah. 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 Uh, who's the guy that's on there? That's uh, Here's a text of the 479. Somebody get with Big Mike. This sounds like a conspiracy. Drive up ratings. Oh, they're going to do it again? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I get to see that missing <laughs> two minutes. Ryan in Bentonville gets the show. Billy Joel getting the Greg the Cody, Cody treatment. Wow. Priceless. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> There's a text, yeah. JIP, industry time. It is an industry term. I'm very sorry Joined in that. progress. Right. Yes, that's right. 60 so, minutes will now be joined. But see, this wouldn't happen in the old days because there was a guy at a console with buttons. And he, no, he, and he, he knew. knew. And he there was knew. a big clock on the wall. And he's right. like, all right, this is move. I'll move. Go something like, I guess the song of the piano. <laughs> If you know, I you think know. he got cut off before the uh, waitress was practicing politics oh, as yes. the businessmen slowly get stoned. I think it was before all that. <laughs> right. Okay. It I was the- definitely before um, the, um, um, you know, uh, they sit at the bar and put bread in my jar mm-hmm. and say, man, man, what, what are, you are you doing, doing here? here? It was way before that part. Anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah, they, well, uh, they messed it up. I I'm, I'm anxiously look forward to watching it again. These uh, texters here on the McCarty Hotline, Mr. Pibb, one of them, worse than the Heidi Bowl. That was 1968. Yes, it maybe, was. maybe we find a better uh, non-dated reference. That's right. Well, at least the football game was going to Heidi. Uh, this was uh, Billy Joe was just going to your local news. That's what it was going to. Not to, uh, not the Heidi game. <sighs> yeah. So uh, that's uh, that's what happened there. But there's a big, uh, yeah, a big whoopsie at uh, at CBS you know, headquarters. Forty years ago, fifty years ago. CBS wouldn't have put out a statement. Nobody, everybody would have been like, "Oh, see the Billy Joel thing cut off early," and that would have been the end of it. Yeah, now it wouldn't happen because the humans were there. Well, no, that's also true. Now there's just a computer hey, doing all this stuff, listen, and nobody... all you future control room operators know what your end date is. <laughs> know what your end date and your hard time is. Right. Just know. Yeah. You get caught. This used to not happen. Like when football would happen, they would put a little thing on the screen updating you the times on the uh, lineup. Like, hey. um, you know, CSI, whatever the heck, is starting at 742, right. not hey, uh, not 8. So We live in the digital age. They could have said, and I, how long did uh, the Masters, how long did it run? Well, it, it must have run till like 630-ish or so, okay. 628, hey, I don't know. If you're, if you're looking for uh, 60 minutes, you can catch it on the Paramount app. Bang. Paramount Plus. There, there it is. Boom. Solve the problem. Start it. That way this doesn't happen. So you can get to your late local news. They would have got murder. She wrote in. I mean, that's they would have got that in back in the day. <laughs> Just Jessica yeah, they, they Fletcher. Would not have, they would not have gone late to Jessica Fletcher. Cabot Cove. Totally understand. <laughs> we have now exhausted my um my um uh, uh, murder. She wrote knowledge. Knowledge. Right. Other than the fact that um, uh, Pat Summerall liked to uh have a a very pregnant pause between murder and she when he would promote the show. Murder. She wrote. Followed by murder. She wrote hmm. with Angela Lansbury. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, Bob wants to know on the McCarty you know, Hotline, what channel is Paramount Plus? Seven. That's right. It is Channel 7. It's channel 7. That's right. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. I don't know. Well, here's what we got going on. Yep. We got, uh, um, according to reports, uh, Jacoby Criswell in the portal. I find we have finally reached the part of spring football that I find interesting because um, with all of the roster um, uh, movement that goes on, uh, we will now start to learn like this is as close as you can get to a game in spring football because everything regarding the um, the uh, presentation of spring football to us, the pe- the public, is very calculated, very orchestrated, very massaged, very uh, controlled. Well, this is not controllable. You don't know, ultimately, who's going to leave and who's going to stay and and all this sort of stuff. So I actually find this part of spring football more interesting than the scrimmage 
uh, what, as this portal opens to see, you know, what well, you, what do you, we really you have? Start here? to see you, the depth chart has started to take some shape, and you yeah. know who the guys are that are sort yes. of not in the plan. Right. And Jacoby Criswell has clearly been beaten out by uh, Taylor Green. He will be the one. Now the question becomes, who's your two? Right. And it looks like it's going to be Malachi Singleton, uh, followed up by uh, by KJ Jackson. That's one, two, and three. Now that is a it's a very young quarterback room. Uh, behind Taylor Green, and you're talking about a redshirt freshman and a true freshman right behind him. Um, you know, Augustov, I mean, that's a guy ran for 202 yards, had a 100-yard game at the end of the season in a in a very crowded running back room. With a bad offensive line, too, yeah, in his limited yeah. action. He shined pretty brightly. Uh, I was uh, looking forward to watching him continue, but now that's, uh, well, he'll be continuing and, and, somewhere else. You know, when, when you look at their running back room, it's Braylon Russell, it's Dubinion, it's Dominique Johnson, and the, the guy they got from Utah, Jaquin and Jackson. Johnson's still on this yeah. team? According to, the, according to their website, he's still on the roster. Is he like but a COVID year that's, guy? That's five running backs that can all play, that you can all get something out of. Right. Um, you know, and I say this every year, and nobody wants to hear me. You have to be careful with freshmen, true freshmen, Braylon Russell. They hit a wall. Uh, when it comes, I mean, right now is great. I mean, there's, you know, they're going to class, they're, you know, they're going through spring practice, but you're going to go through your summer workouts and then the class load hits and they're going to, they're going to hit a wall sometime in mid, mid October. Most of them do. And you just got to be careful with them. You can't, it, it, it's very rare. You but, get an Adrian Peterson style running back. Most of them are just going to be contributors. And if that's what they're going to do with them, great. Jackson appears to be the one. Dominion's you're clear too. But it what it's interesting to me because. And, and Pittman went to the Kirby Smart School of uh, Media Relations, which is the Nick Saban School of Media Relations, which is give them nothing, absolutely nothing. This is not a U of A restricting access. This is a Sam Pittman rule. Why? Why it's uh, you know it's um, you know um, you know the Hoya paranoia only with the uh, Razorback football over there. This is all Pittman, and so um, this is why portal season is interesting because he can't control it. No. And that's why it's no. interesting. Uh, spring football training camp is not that interesting because it's all very controlled. We can tell you who you're going to talk to. We can tell them what to say when they get in there. It's all, you know, we can, the, the few minutes you get to watch, we can control what you see there. It's all very, uh, it's all very uh, positioned. But portal season isn't. It's like a game. You know, a game, they can't control the game. The game happens and we see it and we react to it. But portal season is the closest thing we have to that. In uh, in the spring because they can't predict it, and it goes both ways. By the way, this isn't just a knock on them. What if they want to get rid of some people? That's true. That's also yeah. a thing that happens here. It's not just players uh, leaving. Maybe they're you know nudging some people. Yeah, and, out of the and, way. And so. that that those conversations happen where if you've got a guy and you know if you're if you've got a, an eye on a guy in the portal and you've got a guy that just isn't you know isn't up to where you need him to be, you can say, hey man, your chances are better uh, playing somewhere else. And, yeah. you know, for somebody like Augustov, I mean, that was a guy that, that I think they were counting on, but in a very crowded running back room, you know, he's going to be, he's going to be playing for somebody else. And yeah. you, know, you hate to see him walk out the door. Cause I did think he had a future here, I but, did too. but you know, who's calling the shots on the offense. It's Bobby Petrino. He likes a particular kind of running back. If you're looking for the, the quintessential Bobby Petrino running back, it's Michael Bush. who used to play for him at Louisville, then played for the Raiders for a bunch of years in the NFL. That's what he's looking for. I, I mean, he's, he's a three down back. Use a well, Piper here's the thing that I here's the thing about Petrino that is um that is much 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 to his advantage. The guy has a singular vision on how things are going to go, and that's it. There's not a lot of um. And when I say that, I'm not talking about he's stubborn. He just knows what he has. He knows how to craft a plan for that, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he has a vision for this. He doesn't do a lot of tinkering. You know, it's just, this is what this is what I see, and I've been doing this a long time. So I mean, he's he's an expert at that. Uh, I, uh, I I mean, you can't deny the experience and the expertise he has at creating an offense. He has had a lot <laughs> of success. There's, there's a lot of receipts there. This guy, you know, Taylor Green. Everything's contingent on Taylor Green. He, you know, you can have the best blocking in the world. You can have your receivers on the perfect routes. If you can't get them, the ball doesn't matter. Right. Uh, everything comes down to him. It's a very quarterback driven yes, offense. But he threw, he had three touchdowns on one drive on Saturday, Zach. One did drive. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. He did. Um, yes, he did. Great. Great. I, you know, the, the, the hitch in that is he did it against your defense, which is another problem. But, and he that, can't be touched. Right. And, and he can't be touched and, and all of those things. So, right. I, look, it was a, it was a great day to go out and watch. I mean, you kind of, in all, it, the competitiveness of the game is irrelevant. 
what you start to see is what they're thinking and who the guys are that they're going to they, they're looking at and going you know what going into the fall this is the, you're you're one of the guys we're going to be uh, relying on right. and you know the offensive line for all of the whatever you know they, it looked it looked like an offensive line versus what they had last year last year was just brutal Right. Uh, this looked like an offensive line that you know may be able to block some people, which they didn't. They didn't have that luxury last year. So the age-old question now that we get to kick around for God, what is it? Four months? Oh, geez. Four months. Okay, they're better, but what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything at this point. I mean, they could win. They could win five and be better, but what does it mean to be better? And that is what we have. Five months to try and figure out before that well, uh, opening Thursday night against Arkansas. What Five you Lord. said is is accurate. When they start bringing guys in out of the portal, and Pittman's talked about bringing in a left tackle and you know, a couple other positions, you'll start to see where they think they they need help, and you can start piecing some information together and form somewhat of an opinion on where they are. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, do you have an edge rusher that that can consistently get pressure? We'll see. I know everybody's going to point to Landon Jackson, but half the sacks came in one game uh, mm-hmm. against Landon Proctor. I, you know, we'll see. Um, they they still don't have you know just looking at uh, looking at the roster, they still don't have consistent pressure off the edges, and you know you're replacing some guys on defense in in the back four. Yeah. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. All right, 15 minutes after the hour here on Ruskin and Zach, that uh, exhausts our sports knowledge for the hour, and uh, we will now. Uh, Proceed to waste the rest of your time with the uh, entertainment here on uh, our program on ESPN Arkansas. Oh, we got some texts coming in here that are intriguing. We'll read some of those, including Big Mike checking in. Hey, Big Mike checking in. Uh, Bet Saracen is Arkansas's favorite sports betting app, but if you'd like to make a little wager on your favorite sporting event, Bet Saracen is as close as your cell phone, which you've probably got in your hand or next to you at your desk right about now. Everything's on there. Basketball. We got the playoffs starting up in the association. Baseball's in full swing. We got it all. Bet Saracen's where you want to be. Vegas odds are fine, but you have to be there to legally bet those odds. And Arkansas law prevents the big national apps from operating in our state. So for the most accurate and up-to-date sports wagering info, get on the Bet Saracen app. Just go to the App Store and download Bet Saracen or go to BetSaracen.com. App Store, Bet Saracen or BetSaracen.com. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Home is everything. It's your sanctuary, your command center, your music room, and your art studio. It's where you eat family dinners and make lasting memories. When you use a Weikert agent to help you find your home, we'll help you find the space to make it yours. When you begin your search, know that a Weikert agent will be there with you every step of the way. Because at Weikert Realtors, we guide you home. To get started, call your local Weikert agent and look for our bright yellow signs all over town. At Weikert Realtors, we sell more because we do more. Each Weikert franchised office is independently owned and operated. Now... Now your ideas don't have to wait. Now they have everything they need to come to life. Dell Technologies and Intel are creating technology that loves ideas, loves expanding your business, evolving your passions. We push what technology can do. So great ideas can happen right now. Find out how to bring your ideas to life at Dell.com. Welcome to now. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hug. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? (laughs) With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Call your local shelter agent, Chris Dooley, at 479-646-6792. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition, to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hitthatline.com to schedule an appointment. 
Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years of business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice and prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house seasoning. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, one block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market at 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. 479-443-0000. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at PrecisionDoorNWA.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Guild Mortgage. Guild Mortgage. Hey, this is Joey at Guild, located at 816 North Main Street here in Harrison. Many people ask me if it's a good time to buy, and the answer is yes. Even with the rising rates, it's a great time to buy. Here at Guild, we'll give you the honest and trustworthy advice on purchasing a home. So give us a call at 870-416-3755 or online at guildmortgage.com, and we will help you through the home loan process. Guild Mortgage Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, Company MLS 3274, Individual MLS 410478, all loans social underwriting approval, terms and conditions apply, subject change without notice. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, historic rivalries tip off with shareable bites, and every shot you take is a game winner. All season long, you're balling with 29-degree beer, courtside seats, and scenic views. I mean, where else can you pair wall-to-wall -wall hoops with hard-to-find whiskey? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late-night bites. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dream. Online at McClarty Daniel. Com. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, blown fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered. Day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888 Eight Sparky. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Limbird Team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Limbird Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LimbirdTeam.com. L I M. B I R D ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McCarty Daniel Hotline, 866 285 4005. It's Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. News is brought to you by the Good Chair. Because I had to have a place to sit. Get good chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by. So Robert, Joe Bonamassa sucks, and you want a seat. The good chair. Baseball team dropped two out of three over the weekend. The ninth, number 16, Alabama. Arkansas now 30-5 and five on the year. 12-3 and three in the league. They lead A&M by a game in the SEC's Western Division. They'll play Texas Tech tomorrow out at Baum. They'll uh, double up and play uh, them on Wednesday as well. First pitch scheduled tomorrow for 7 p.m. It's on uh, ESPN, right? Tomorrow night is on ESPN 2, I okay. believe, with uh, Carl Ravage Woo! coming to town with Kyle Peterson for the television uh, All right. 
uh, commentary team. Arkansas football Not team bad. held its annual red-white scrimmage on Saturday. Passes were thrown and caught and tackles were made. Big news came afterwards. Isaiah Augustov, the uh, running back, ran for 202 yards. He uh, entered the transfer portal. Then we got news today that quarterback Jacoby Criswell, who transferred from UNC, has also put his name into the transfer portal. Your Ruskin and Zach Expols brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479-225-8809. Baseball team lost two out of three. Is this a cause for concern? 81.5% of you say, that ah, much to do about nothing. Is everyone out to get you? 50.6% of you oh, said yes. Of course. Well, it is tax day. Uh, are you seizing the day, or is the day seizing you? 73.5% of you said the day is seizing you. Carpe the diem. Which is worse, mom mad or dad mad? 61.6% of you say mom mad. Have you ever knowingly cheated on your taxes? 81.7% of you said no. I would like to have a word with the 183 that said yes. So would the government, by the way. Is Tai Chi just a slow motion tantrum? 49% of you said yes. 41% of you say you have to Google it. And then, uh, do you think you could win the Masters if you started on the green from the furthest point from the hole? 73.5% of you said no. Those are your Ruskin and Zach Expos. are brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809. Right. Well, uh, this is um, um, this is fascinating. We got a couple of things here going on. We got um, um, some good texts coming in. We'll get to some of these uh, as we move along. I think uh, the football segment uh, put people asleep. So, wake everybody up! All right, back to clapping donuts. our hands. Back to donuts. Yeah, yeah, grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. We got grilled cheese. DQ does love a good grilled cheese. Right, right. I just you know. We got a long we got a long way to go here. So just uh well, let's uh let me unravel a thread here or for a minute. Uh you ever like we a lot of times you'll hear a song that's older and you'll go, Oh, that's a good song. Yesterday the opposite happened to me. I heard an older song at the store, and I'm like, This is not a good song. I don't like this song. Does this ever happen to anybody else? What's wrong with this. I don't like this song. Why not? I just don't like it. Thomas Jones. Things can only get better. Howard 66. Jones. WNDC. It's a good roller skating song back in the 80s. Oh, couple skate. No, no, this wasn't a couple skate. Oh. No, this is, this is nice. 13 year old Zach would love this. I also want to point out that Zach uh, has his glasses. I do. Or a pair of glasses. I have, I have my glasses. Yes. They're right here. They're, yeah, look at that. It's taken some getting used to. Yeah. You get a headache going whole, back and yeah, forth. Yeah. Well, I'm, I was getting a headache earlier. Um, but I'm, we're, we're, I can see now. Yeah. So it's uh, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. You got to hear the hook on this song. Bring it up a little bit more. Because I hear the, I'm, I, you know, I'm putting my produce in the cart. And I'm like, this song sucks. Yeah, that's your opinion. Listen to this. How many songs make Turn Down For What look good? This is one of them. What are these? What is this lyric? What is whoa, whoa, whoa. This is playing in a grocery store? Yeah. yeah. How old is this song? 1985? 86? Yeah, something like that. I was in middle school when this came out. Yeah. Yeah. And it was Sunday, so they also played I'll Fly Away. Mm. And then they, I'm right. serious. I'm back serious to back. that heart attack. Look, you will never feel older <laughs> in your life. I was in an elevator in a very posh hotel. Whoa. Stop. I was in a very nice hotel in New York City, and I heard California Love, the instrumental. Whoa, in the, the music. Like, I'm sitting there, and I've got my bags, and I'm like, I know this song. And I'm, I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, oh, no. Dun, 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 that was, dun, dun, that was dun, when I, dun, dun. that's when I knew that I had officially gotten old. Was when I heard California. When you're, when a song from your youth is on the music yeah, in the elevator. Yeah, yeah. And, and not just a song. Not it, that it, song. It's Tupac. Right. And we're making yeah. it into an instrumental. Right. Well, a, a friend of mine, uh, she lives out in Mississippi. She was trying to differentiate between oldies and classic. And I'm like, once you hit a certain point, like DQ is going to be in her mid 20s at the end of this week. That's right. Once you hit a certain <laughs> point, it doesn't matter. You're just one of us at that point. Yeah. DQ, are you going to survive being in your mid 20s? I'll be fine. Okay. New Boy. Taylor Swift album on Friday. That's this Friday? Yes. Yeah. The Dead well, actually, Poets Society or whatever it's called. Tortured Poets Department. Okay. I've also Dead been Poets making Society. that I've also been making that mistake. The Robin Williams it's movie, her, my bad. It's her longest album title. God, that was boring. 
Like, is it like, uh do we have any like snippets or anything? Is she it gonna hasn't be good? released any any she hasn't released a song from it, anything. I have no idea what it's gonna tortured, be. Tortured Tortured Poet Society. Society to, Tortured Poets Department. Oh my god. <laughs> is that what it is? Tortured Poets Department, yes. Yeah. Uh, DQ, are you having a quarter life crisis? No. That's no, John Mayer. Well, <laughs> we had somebody, you know, call us with a quarter life crisis and I was wondering if DQ was having one. Oh really? No. That but I am excited. Okay. What's the big plan for the weekend? You got like well, major so, plans. It's a big one. Well, 25. it's the strawberry festival this weekend. Sorry, really? I, did, I did get the rid of the strawberry festival. That's oh. well, it's the start of strawberry season. Uh huh. So probably something like that. I am going to a concert on Thursday. Really? Yes. Oh, so we shouldn't expect to see. No, you no, on no. Friday? You'll see me on Friday. I'll be fine. They must have to words. get out no. of here early yeah. Thursday. Yeah. No, I'll be fine. Going to a concert, which I'm excited mm-hmm. for. Wow. Who who are we seeing? It's um somebody nobody would know. It, uh, yeah. Is it an artsy thing? No, we wouldn't understand. It's a band that people from say it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's a band that young people from Fayetteville would know. But I went to high school with <laughs> with the guy who plays the bass uh-huh. in the band. Oh, look at that. You got an yeah. in with the band. So yeah, groupie. That's why we're going. Okay. And it just happens to be the day before my birthday. So that's okay. why. Nothing's topping this text we just got. What's up? I mean, good luck. Nothing. Kendall on the McCarty No Hotline says he heard the instrumental version of Losing My Religion at a Funeral Home. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm telling you, man, you hear one of those songs from your youth and you're like, I know that. And then all of a sudden it hits you and you're like, oh my God, I am old. Oh. I am old. You know, the other thing is as soon as I get to the car, you know, I put the groceries in the car and I start up the car and I'm like, what is that song? Because it's one of those songs you've heard a billion times, but you don't know the title. Right. Um, so I look up, whoa, oh, oh, oh. And then like some <laughs> sort of Flaco Jimenez uh, song comes up on Spotify or something. Like, well, that's not it. That's not it. And right. then I Googled it. And then I'm like, Howard Jones. I'm yeah. like, okay, that could be it. And I listened to it. I'm like, yeah, that's it. How about that? So uh, that's. Uh, it's not even this. Bad. That, that because, was like the B side of his, his only album. This is one of the. Re- first of all, the, the title is stupid, too. I mean, it's a stupid title. It makes, what was it, the title again? Things could only get better. Okay. It's not even. the. the you have a good song if the title is in the chorus somewhere. These people that put the title in like stuck somewhere in the second verse, that's stuff. What are you doing? Well, it leads, too into, artsy. It leads into the chorus. Oh, it's oh, too okay, artsy. Okay, that, it's not even it's not even his best song. No, it is not. That it's, is correct. It, it just it, it's, I agree with that. Okay, all right. He had two hits. They were, you know, an A and a B side. And this was a rare moment where I didn't hit the uh, what's that button? The Shazam button. Because I'll be sitting at a restaurant, and I'm like, what's that song? Hit the Shazam, and it'll you know fire up all the info on you on your phone pretty quickly. And sometimes in a noisy restaurant, the, the phone could pick out the number. It, Shazam might be one of the greatest apps ever, ever invented. Do you raise your phone a little bit to get, them, yeah. get your phone's microphone as close as you yeah. can to the noise? Yeah. 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 Like the last song I Shazammed was Wholehearted by Extreme. You know that one? Uh, no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Like, as in extreme from more than words? Yes. This is another one of their songs. Yeah. Uh, we just have more than words. We don't have wholehearted. But yeah, that's, um, I love that Shazam app. It usually works pretty good. I mean, unless you're like, you know, a, you know, a, a steel mill or something, it probably won't be able to pick out the song over the I, noise. I don't think they're <laughs> listening to extreme in a steel mill. Or Howard Jones. <laughs> or Howard Jones. I, I think you're okay there. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's see here. What does this say here? You can uh, text us, by the way, the McCarty you know, Hotline, 866-285-4005. Uh, that's weird. Um, <laughs> the straw- oh, here's a text from Missouri, DQ. Uh, the Strawberry Festival sounds like a get-together of the Butterfield Trail crowd. <laughs> no. People go to the Apple Festival, the... I do love the, a good apple. The other though. ones Hold around on. here, the Strawberry Festival. DQ is aging faster than most of us. Um, no. Really? What'd you do this weekend? <laughs> I did lots of things. No, what'd you do? But I made bread. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've made bread a million times, but... It's, it's not that you made bread. It's that you went into such detail about the unsalted yes. butter. Well, so I've <laughs> made this rest, this bread recipe a thousand times, but one, I've always used 
our fireplace at the farm. Listen to her. I've always used the fireplace at the farm to raise the bread. So I had never, I had never raised bread with just you know regular heat Uh or regular you know house temperature. Right. But it was it worked. It was fine. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't realize um, that using unsalted butter would make it you know taste a little bit bland. On the bland side, I mean, I was making white bread. So the more you tell the story. It doesn't make you sound. I like making it. And I have a stand mixer now, so it's so much easier. I used to just knead it by hand Oh, and mix it. And That's knead, K-N-E-A-D. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, right. I, love, I love making bread. It's so Let's much fun. Let's talk about grilled cheese. It's What's so happening fun. to you? Now, this is the ultimate. You make a grilled cheese with bread. Yeah, that's what, that's what I want to do. I need yeah. to get a bread pan. Yeah. Because I don't have, I didn't have a bread pan, and so I had, I was forced to make rolls. Oh my uh, the horror! I had to because I didn't have anything. What like a muffin tin? <laughs> I didn't have. Don't much. let him yuck your yum. He has a miserable. Uh, life. I feel Don't worry like about a muffin that. tin would have been weird, like a a roll shaped. He, he a thinks muffin he's a big roll. deal now that he has eyesight. Again. I can yeah. see. <laughs> I can see. It's a miracle. It's funny because like DQ has just been this fuzzy thing for about three years, and now I can. Oh, actually... now you see what I look like. Yeah, I can see the pores <laughs> in your nose. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's great. Wow. Thanks. And a problem. Casper Zach over here. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, somebody Dave asked Casper. if I had jaundice. That's funny. That's I asked funny. you that. Okay, first of all, jaundice is yellow. Yeah, but yeah. Jaundice there's not, there's not a uh, there's not a disease for being too pale. Although I went to school with someone who was too pale and just was allergic to like everything in life, like oxygen. Hmm. Missed like, you know, 100 days of school or something. Uh, High-fat anyway. carnivore says he's uh, 54, not interested in fruit festivals. What's wrong with fruit festivals? Do you guys not like strawberries or something? Well, I'm allergic to them. So, oh, no. yeah, that sucks. Strawberries oh, are, are yeah. the best. Yeah, fruit. You want to try and kill They're me? They're delicious. You got an EpiPen? Uh, no, okay. First, I, I blow up, I get hives. Oh, uh, you yeah. don't like, you know, like, start what did I make? freaking out. What did I make you? Oh, yeah, you tried to kill me. You brought well, me, uh, you brought me chocolate covered strawberries. I did. Wow, yeah, DQ. But I didn't know yep. you were allergic. Oh, might as well put hemlock in there yeah, next really. time. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, Is there anything else you're allergic to? Any other di- dietary concerns? Uh, penicillin, uh, penicillin PK500, I think is what it's called. I just I stay away from penicillin. You're allergic to penicillin? Am, so yeah. is my sister. Yeah. About that. Yeah, I found that one. I learned that one way. time shaking her hand. She said, I'm allergic to penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Yeah. Um, a lurch is claiming on the McCarty you know, hotline that the better fruit is a peach over a strawberry. Oh. Lurch. Well, peaches are good too, but I love strawberries. Here's another text. Peaches are the best fruit. Okay. Huh. Right. Uh, here we go. Text ready 870. Zach must have had all his childhood inoculations. Oh, good. That's what causes allergies. Good. Another amateur scientist doing their work. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, it's just it's strawberries. Strawberries just make me itch. And penicillin, yeah. The- are you allergic to peanuts? No. Okay, that's good. Hey, can I still go to a ballpark and eat peanuts and like throw them on the ground, or is that going to cause a problem? Hey, if they give them to you in the shell, it's free game. Because that's the best part about eating peanuts at the game is you can just throw them on the ground. Right. You don't have to, you know, you go clean to the up restaurants after you. to do that. Well, sometimes, the, the, sometimes they limit that now because people were falling do down that, yeah. and uh, you know people were getting hurt and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. I like apples. That's the best fruit. Bananas are good. Peaches, though, over strawberries. I'm not a huge strawberry fan. I can take it or leave it. That's all. I mean, that's... Uh, I here's the text. It says peaches are a vegetable. Discuss. Uh, compared to what? I don't know. I, I Guys, just because stop. they come out of a tree? Is that what we're doing? Stop it. But that... Just let it go. Just I'll, let... I'll, I'll just let it go. Yeah, just let it go. Well, apples come out of a tree. Aren't they vegetables? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we doing? No. Oh. Where do strawberries come from? Bushes. Yeah. Oh, it's a uh, yeah, like a yeah, like a mulberry bush. bush, like a strawberry bush. Well, if you guys want to come to the strawberry festival on Saturday, I gotta tell you, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be busy that day. I believe I have a uh, a uh, an appointment. I can't <laughs> yeah, make it. Definitely. Sorry, I can't do it. Uh, all right, let's see here. Um, well, you're, here's a, a guyman. One of your thoughts on persimmon? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I mean, I have, look, if it's got multiple syllables, I, I don't know. 
Uh, all of you pineapple people, just keep it. I'm not interested. I hate I hate pineapple. Uh, pineapple's good. I don't pineapple's hate really it. good, I but like I don't want to do the work. I don't like, uh, you know, the one I don't like is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, it's got the brown on the outside. Um, oh, what is that? I don't know, Derek. What? Uh, what is it? It's, it's oh. brown on the outside and Guess orange that, on the inside. Uh, honeydew? No, no, no. Cantaloupe? Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, that's it. I don't like that. Yeah, it's it's fine. Let me see this thing. Is this a cantaloupe? Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I'm thinking about. Yeah, that's it. All right. Why are you guys listening to this? What, you guys are like well, throwing kiwis at us. So what, do you, what do you all do with your lives? Are you allergic to kiwis? I don't think so. I've never had a kiwi, so I okay, don't know. Okay, so there's out. a good chance. Let's not, okay? There might be a good chance you are uh, you know because what? they're really acidic. Okay, there, there's something about the acidity in the strawberry I'm, that makes me itchy. I'm going to guess um, kiwis would kill you. Blueberry. I'm not allergic to blueberries. Best muffin. Oh, Oh, a blueberry muffin with butter? It's not even close. No, I, and muffin. I will fight anybody that yeah, thinks right. otherwise. DQ? I love blueberry okay. muffins. Yeah. It's not even close. Top nuts. But, I mean, there's, a, there's a place that I go to that makes the best blueberry muffins. Are, they're, they're smaller, about the size of my fist. And there's a place. There's a place. And uh, it's where I pick up the notes every uh, every day. And, oh, yeah. And, yeah, I go, yeah. Man, and they've got, oh, my God. God, it's good. Just slightly warm, little butter. Huh. You got a muffin guy. I, you got the muffin man. A muffin man? <laughs> Zach has a muffin man. The muffin knew? man! <laughs> All right. Uh, there will uh, be uh, sports coming up yeah. after this. This is Ruskin and Zach. I did have a delivery of a bunch of long wood yesterday. <laughs> ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The Lotto Jackpot is now more than $1.5 million. And the best part? The winning ticket can only be sold in Arkansas. Maybe today. Maybe even to you. Can you imagine? There's a jackpot drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night. So your next chance to win is coming up very soon. Try Lotto today for only 2 bucks per play. Call 1-800-522-4700 for problem gambling helpline. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a 1,000 used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there, too, with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClartyDaniel.com. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Kraft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics, using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, 999-1234 for QC Kinetics. It's the spring sale event going on now at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. 80% off Cali King adjustable base and mattress. Only $7.99. Get a free pillow and protector on purchases over $3.99. Living room starting at $7.97 and dining sets starting at only $1.99. Don't forget 20% off website orders at CheapSleep.net. Don't miss the spring sale at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. Springdale, Fort Smith, Bentonville, and Conway. Looking for a new home in the heart of Northwest Arkansas? Head to the Cottage at the Park. These beautiful homes by Buffington have direct access to a 120-acre park and offer maintenance-free yards. That means free time can be spent watching the hogs, traveling, playing in the park, or just enjoying a weekend without yard work. For relaxed living at its finest, 
cottage at the park is the best move you'll make. Visit BuffingtonHomesAR.com slash hog radio for details. For the past several years, you've been casting your votes for the best of Northwest Arkansas, and the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater in Springdale has received many of them. Best new restaurant, best sports bar, best steakhouse, best overall restaurant, best chicken wings, and for 2023, best sports bar and best salad. Check out their event room for parties and banquets. Be sure to sign up for rewards points and follow the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Facebook. Check them out at theallamericansteakhouse.com, then come in and see for yourself. The All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. Have you heard? The Pleasure Playground just got a little bigger. Cupid's is growing. That's right. Cupid's Lingerie just opened its newest naughty location in Fayetteville at Crossover and Mission in the Walmart Shopping Center. Cupid's is a boutique specializing in all things pleasure and play, from lingerie to, well, everything you can imagine and more. Visit shopcupids.com today and treat someone special to something special. Cupid's Lingerie in Bentonville, Springdale, and now in Fayetteville. Cupid's Lingerie. Enjoy! Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClartyDaniel.com. Hi there, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Darby Bobby with the 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast out there this evening and overnight. We'll watch for a few spotty to scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area. It could be a strong one in there. We'll keep an eye on it for you through the morning hours. Temperatures don't drop much, only the low 60s. As we go throughout the day on Tuesday, another chance for a few hit and miss showers and storms. Could be a severe one in there. We'll be watching that very closely on Tuesday as well. Highs in the upper 70s, windy for us. And then we quiet down for Wednesday with high temperatures back in the low 80s. That's Get Ready Weather only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. The most influential show in Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitbatline.com. Ruskin is actually the stream in 157 countries, 50 states, two territories. Over the weekend, we were streamed in Flintstone, Georgia. You know, stream it too. It's at that line.com. You got one of them Google Play Alexa <laughs> things. Say, hey, play ESPN Northwest Arkansas and we'll show up. Yeah, but that uh, would do. Right. No. Uh, Abner, by the way, we're going to need a, a drop of Zach screaming the Muffin Man. Uh, so if you could work on <laughs> that. Exactly. We're gonna yeah. need that. What a got it clean several times. He watched the uh, he watched the 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 scene where he was you know where he broke up in half was trying to get uh, the information. Information. Out of him. I can't. Don't tell him anything. It's the, it is the it. There are enough uh, DQ. Tell me I'm wrong. There are enough adult jokes in Shrek. Shrek keep, is one of the funniest animated movies of hilarious. all time. It, if it probably is the funniest. Yeah. There's it, even it, like really? an OJ Simpson reference. Yeah, yeah they, they oh, make good. all kinds of. It's uh, so good. All it was the 20th stuff. anniversary of the second one over the weekend. So they were playing it in theaters. Oh, wow. But okay. Shrek is so good. Yeah, you you would not be disappointed watching Shrek. Oh, poor Rob. What? The McClarty Hotline. Rob claims watermelon is the best, best fruit bar none. Well, Rob. I like watermelon. It's fine. It, it, it's, it's good. Grapes are better than a watermelon. Are you kidding me? Green or red? Green. Green. Okay. All right. We're I mean, still a proper do you think country. Red? Huh? No. No. Okay. I'm not a big grapes guy. At least to give them to my dog because he couldn't. Uh, he couldn't like chew them, and he would just spit them out. You know they can get sick to uh, eating some fruit, right? You know what? I watched. I watched my basset hound tear through an entire box of hot chocolate mix. Oh, he was fine. That's right. so. I watch a dog eat crap on a uh, somewhat regular basis. Better than stepping in it, I guess. Well, it does help clean up the yard. That is true. (laughs) I'm like, don't eat that. And she just looks at you and keeps eating it. Like, you're you're not. What are you doing? We're getting. What are you doing? We're getting all kinds of requests. Not the gumdrop button. (laughs) Yes, not the gumdrop button. That's right. I'm glad we brought up OJ. Uh, Oh, (laughs) why? Well, um, boy, I don't know. Uh, I don't know much about. Um, I don't know much about executors and uh, you know uh, last wishes and all that stuff. But man, it feels like uh, Malcolm Laverne, mm. who is uh, Simpson's executor of his estate, 
is um was very well selected by uh by OJ. Because Question. he is uh well let me just tell you what he's not going to do. Uh-huh. He's not going to pay the Goldmans, right. number one, uh any of the estate. And number two, he's not uh OJ's going to be cremated. They are not going to analyze his brain for CTE. Okay. Which, you know, would probably come up positive. So I don't know. I had some time this weekend. Um probably too much time. Uh I On watched hands? all well, I had a lot. Uh, I watched all five parts of OJ Made in America. A, what a film! What a what a phenomenal documentary! What a film! But um, there is no question in my mind after watching that again. Of course, uh, he did it. Of course. Uh, but we, I was actually talking to Second Attorney about this. They made his family came by at the end, and everybody had to sign an NDA. Mm-hmm. Deathbed confession or financial? Deathbed confession. You think so, DQ? Oh, yeah. oh you want deathbed? Deathbed confe- okay. confession. Okay. Yes. Why else would you sign an NDA? That, see, that's my. Nobody's point. gonna go out there and say how much money you had after you well, leave a deathbed of there, somebody. There was a report that came out on Friday that said he was running several cash-only businesses well, so that yeah, the money couldn't be traced. So, so, uh, so Fred Goldman can't get the money, right? right. But he's entitled when by I a heard court about, ruling. When I heard about the NDA, my first thought was that's a deathbed confession. Has to be. Yes. Yes, that's right. Has to be. Yes. So you don't buy the theory that. The son could have been involved because they have similar blood. Okay, so here's, and again, I, 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 I took. There were two major takeaways from watching OJ Made in America. Again, I've not watched it since um since it came out. Probably came right. Out. Yeah. Just as an aside, so I'm sitting and I just recorded it off of TV and then burned it onto a, a DVD. So I've Tommy Kraft doing uh, Harry Robinson commercials. Right, oh, you middle. saw that? Like, like I'm sitting there and I went, oh, that guy. <laughs> Hold on, back up. Anyway. Um, one, I'm absolutely certain he did it. Two, uh, AC had nothing to do with OJ, it. OJ, not Tom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah not Tom. Tom, Tom we don't know, yeah. where, Tommy we don't know where Tommy was in June of 94, right. but he wasn't in Brentwood. Right. But, pretty uh, sure. OJ did it. AC had nothing to do with it. Because I was long of the belief that, uh, that, that the other thing that went very unnoticed in that was where OJ was the morning of the Bronco chase. In that documentary, Robert Kardashian says he was with me. Yes. He was at, at, at the Kardashian house. Anyway. Yes. And then the third part, and this I only got, I watched it like two or three times. Marcus Allen lied in his deposition. Well, perjury. No, 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 no. no. See, because I asked that question. Perjury, perjury is only when you're on the stand. Oh, I in see. In a criminal, in, I got a whole. He wasn't under oath. Right. Okay, got it. So he lied in his deposition about having uh, an affair with Nicole Simpson, yet she chronicled it in her diary. Wait, so he did? Oh, yeah, he lied. Yeah, he, he, he said he did not, and he, said, and he actually that, did. Okay. And, and like, I stopped and I went, wow, I guess I hadn't put that together the first time. So those were the things that uh, the, those were the big takeaways there. And then I, you know, we heard about the NDA and all that stuff. And it was, uh, I had an OJ weekend. Yeah. Just me and the juice. <laughs> Lance Ito is still alive, by the way. No, he's that? not. Yes, he is. No, he is yes, not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's 73. No. Yes. No. Here's an article on the LA times. Of um, yeah, he is. Look at that. him uh, going to the uh, grave of his late wife every week and, uh, you know, cleaning it up and stuff. Uh, Skeeter wants to know where you can find this OJ Made in America. That's on, um, I think it's on Disney. It'll, yeah, it'll be on a ESPN just Plus Google for it. sure. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just OJ Made in America. I don't know it, if it's on Netflix anymore. Some of the stuff is, some of it isn't. The, I don't know. It is, it is an amazing piece of journalism. Right. Because now, there's no narration and it's told from, from a certain individual's points of view. Now, in the version that I saw. Now, when they aired this, they had it on two channels at the same time. And you could watch the unfiltered version on one channel right. and the sanitized right. version. In the unfiltered version, you're going to see the crime scene photos in full detail. Yeah, I didn't like, need they that. Didn't, that. So that's you just this, will know that going in. That's if you're going to watch the start of episode three. That is a parental um, discretion is very much advised on those particular parts because you see it all. It was it, it, it was going back and rewatching it and, you know, with time and being able to, you know, stop and, and, and look. At, wow. What and a how what, what a story. How any jury could see those photos and still um, acquit tells you what a terrible job Marsha Clark and Chris Darden did on well, the prosecution. Okay, now, now, okay see, now that's another thing that, that they brought up. Gosh, I can't believe we're doing this 30 years later, but whatever. Uh, we're coming up on the anniversary. She was right because when now I'm gonna get it was Van Adder and the when the detectives got him in there, even Furman said this in the uh, in the documentary. You get one shot at him, mm-hmm. and you have to get all of these things done 
You have to get all of these things down. They never pinned him down on where he was. They simply all all the one detective wanted was a picture of his finger, uh, where he cut his finger. They she and in the in the uh, in the the documentary, she just kind of throws her hands up. And she goes, "What are you doing?" Like when they handed it to her, it was already flawed. Right. You know, she was in a no win position, and then Christopher Darden, you know, went mental, and you know, she kept telling him, "Don't do it," and you know, he he made him put the glove on. Also, the um, the American Crime Story, the dramatized yeah. version of this on FX, was also really yeah. good with um, um, that woman that's in all of those. Uh, what's her name? Anna Tra- Travolta played. Uh, mm-hmm. No, David Swimmer yeah, played David Kardashian. Swimmer, yeah. Yeah, Travolta yeah. was in it. He was Shapiro. Yeah, Shapiro. That's right. Yeah, that was the uh, dramatized version and the actual documentary were both really if, good. If you haven't watched it, my gosh, I mean, go watch it. it. It it is. It's in five parts or in like forty eight minutes. Of- Watch out for those crime scene photos, though. Yeah, they yeah. are uh, they are real. Uh, we'll be back in a moment. Ruskin and Zach, here we are. I'm Allison Wise in the 4829 Newsroom. A Fayetteville man is accused of killing his ex-girlfriend. He rejected a plea deal and now faces the death penalty. The Washington County prosecutor said Casey Jennings was expected to enter a plea when he was in court on Monday. Instead, Jennings continued his not guilty plea. He's accused of killing Allison Castro in August 2022. Police arrested Jennings a month after she was reported missing. And the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission is warning Arkansans to be on the lookout for invasive snails. A species has been found in shipments of live crawfish to Arkansas from Louisiana. They say they want the public's help to prevent the spread of giant apple snails. The snails eat large amounts of aquatic plants, which can damage habitats for fish and wildlife, and it can be detrimental to rice farms. They've also been known to carry diseases that can be transmitted to humans. Those are your headlines. I'm Allison Wise. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Twin Peaks is always adding exciting cocktails to the menu, like the expertly balanced Sincoro Hall of Fame Margarita. Try it at your local lunch today. Tougher than the first shower after a sunburn. They're the new Mahindra tractors at Tatum Motor Company. New Mahindras are heavier with more built-in weight, so you can push more, pull more, and lift more. Your new Mahindra will always be ready and capable. These tough Mahindra tractors are proudly made with steel, not plastic. So you'll never be envious of the other brands. Plus, with the new Mahindra, you get up to a seven-year powertrain warranty on most models and 0% financing on select models for 72 months. That's six years, no interest. If you're looking for a new tractor or tractor package, check out the new Mahindra from Tatum Motor Company. You can even call for a quote before you head down. Tatum Motors promises they won't be undersold. Tatum Motor Company in Anderson, Missouri and Tawnytown, Arkansas. I'm Paul with Tatum Motor Company. Visit us online at TatumMotor.com. Day is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. 
It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. Call Scott Kamiski in Bella Vista and Steve Harp in Springdale. Do you own a business or are you starting a new business? Sign Studio is the answer to all of your brick and mortar advertising needs. Sign Studio can wrap your new company vehicle or an entire fleet of vehicles, manufacture and install stunning road and building signs, or simply print a banner and set of business cards to get you started. No matter where you are in business, Sign Studio is with you. With friendly service and smiling faces, Sign Studio is your source for complete visual marketing. Visit YourSignStudio.com or call 250-4844. At Wrath Mitsubishi, we know nobody likes feeling like they've got to fight to get a fair deal on a pre-owned car. That's why we're introducing our all-new Road Ready Certified Pre-Owned Vehicles. We pick the best used cars, bought locally from your friends and neighbors whenever possible. Then they get a full inspection, service, and reconditioning. And finally, we back that with a comprehensive warranty. Don't get beat up on your pre-owned car search. Hang on. Sorry about that. Road Ready Certified Pre-Owned Cars. We've got you covered. Exclusively at Rath Mitsubishi. Don Tyson and 71B Springdale. RathMitsubishi.com. KAKS Goshen Fayetteville. K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. <laughs> ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way. Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Well, it would we'd leave it to a Missouri fan to point this out to us here. Uh-huh. Baseball team is uh not won a series since John Calipari was named head coach of the uh, men's basketball team. Uh, <laughs> it's a Missouri fan for you. Yeah, that, that sounds like you know a Missouri what? Get fan. your own house in order, all right? Yeah, really. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Now, once the clock turns to July, we can't say a word to him. No, no, no. He is. Uh, no, that's right. Yeah, that's uh, all very true. Uh, we've got uh, Clay Henry coming up here mm-hmm. in um, one hour. An hour, yeah, yep. an hour. So we'll talk to him. We'll talk about the Masters or something with him. And a fly rods, mm. fly tying, all that stuff. Too. Uh, smack the daddy. cicadas. Yeah, smack daddy. St- I haven't seen the cicadas yet. Yeah. Unless, now we got like mutant snails out there or something. Yeah, I'm going to ask about that in a second. Smack daddy's texting on the McClarty Daniel hotline. I've been listening for an hour, and you guys will have to talk about the wheels falling off and firing Dave Van Horn. I am prepared for everybody's irrational overreactions to two things from the weekend. The spring game and the uh, baseball team being shut out. You know, losing the series is is one thing, but... To go down with a whimper in game three was uh, the well, they, surprising uh, part they, to me. Uh, dude pitched a hell of a game. <laughs> I, I mean, mean like, he didn't go down with a whimper. He just, he dominated. Like you. Saturday night, they battled back. Hold hits the home run. Okay, they, they they get you in the end on a throwing error. That's baseball. That happens. But, you know, to, to get four hits against Alabama was, uh, was crazy yesterday. I did not expect that. Um, I also think that... Uh, Dave, uh, you know, overthought it a little bit. Mm. He, he radically shuffled up the lineup yesterday, and it all kind of just blew up. You know, I just think that that's a, that's part of it too. You know, we give him. You know, the thing that I one of the things I don't like about being around here is that everybody's so quick to give him praise when he does something right, and he gets them right more than he gets them wrong. But they never mention the the moves well, he makes that don't work because because it's a massive overreaction when something doesn't work out because ninety five percent of the time it does. He he makes very few managerial mistakes. We just notice the ones that he that don't work. And that's just that's baseball, Susan. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of uh, that's yeah. baseball, Susan. Uh, John Sterling is retiring effective immediately from calling Yankee games on the radio. You know when my my aunt got me uh, satellite radio in the early two thousands, and they uh, the big deal they got then was uh, you can get hear all the baseball games. Yeah. 
And so, like, on my dinner break at the TV station, I would listen to the Yankees. And when I drove home, I would listen to Vince Scully call a Dodger game. It's not a bad afternoon. Because he did the first three innings then on radio and television. And then in the fourth inning, uh, Steiner and Rick Monday took over on Dodgers radio. Now I think Steiner and Rick Monday do the whole game. Um, but Steiner's been out with uh, back issues or something, so I don't even know who's doing the game. Now. But um, I remember uh, John Sterling... I didn't like the Yankees, but I just like listening to him present a baseball game mm. because it was it held your interest. Whether he's singing or you know you know doing some goofy deal, he was an entertainer first and a sportscaster second. And uh, you know you got all the stuff you needed to know about the game. You know what's the count, who's on base, all that crap. But uh, he's putting on a show, and so I always enjoyed uh, listening to um, Yankee games, even though I don't like the Yankees. But I liked listening to him call a game because it was entertaining. You know, if you're driving across the state um, from your parents' house or to your parents' house, which I've done many times, you know, if the Yankees are on, I'll listen to John and Susan for a while. Why not? It's, it's it'll it'll kill an hour. It does. So I, I like that. I know you you don't like. Uh, I cannot stand him and Susan Waldman, but it, it's not them personally. It's because they're the Yankees. Right. Correct. Right. I hate the Yankees. If they work for the Red Sox, I, they'd they be the greatest be thing, of all time. They yeah. would be my Joe Castiglione. That's right. You know, John also did games for the Braves back in the 80s before he got the Yankee job in 89 and has been um, calling Yankee games for 36 years. Uh, most recently, just uh, on uh, on WFAN on the radio. So um, I don't know. I, I, I you know, it's um, I don't know. I hope he's OK. You know, he's 85, so you never know about all that stuff. But uh, I um, I enjoyed a, a, a lot of uh, afternoons going places and putting on a you know, Yankees, Blue Jays, just cause, because, you know, John's on. Listen to John call a game. He put on a show. And that's all ultimately what we're trying to do here. I mean, you can call the best game ever, but if you're not entertaining the audience, you know, it's not going to be good. You know, Phil and Bubba get this. Mm -hmm. Phil and Bubba entertain the audience and they call the game. It's not just, you know, line drive caught. Like, you know, it's, you know, you got to put on a show anyway. Bob Euchre's 90 and still doing yeah, games, still, by the way. And Bob sounds great. Listen he to him. does sound good. Listen to him a week ago. Yeah, he does he sound good. He sounds great. Yeah. He's got to be the oldest guy doing it, right? I would think so, yeah. Because Stiglione's not in his 90s. No. Can't no, 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 no. Joe was, Joe was in his late 50s. No. All right. Big Mike's on the phone here uh, on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Hi, Big Mike. Boy, Dig, Dig covers up a lot of holes when he's blaring – Going any bad hitting when he's hitting. When he's in a slump, you know it's really bad because the rest of the team don't hit that good. Yeah, it's true. And let's see what Dave. Dave's all right. They just ain't hitting. That's all. That's the only problem. Mix up lineup. See what happens. You know, we've been through this before. It's April. This is yeah. what they do yeah. in oh, the well, April. In April, this is what they do. We had a we had a team a couple of years ago that walked a lot. And then somebody would hit a home run or a double. And then apparently the other coaches said, hey, throw strikes to them. Let's see if they can actually hit. And it turned out they couldn't hit. Yeah. And we lost a bunch of games. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Oh, you want to hear Churchill, Mussolini, and UFO? I'm I don't dying think, to hear I this. I don't think we have a choice. I'm yes. I, I, I believe yes. I would like to hear this. Uh, the Italians either shot down or saw a flying saucer crash back before the war, you know, when everybody was still kind of friendly. And uh, they got it, and there was nobody inside of it. And uh, they hauled it back, and they told Mussolini about it. So Mussolini goes, well, I don't know who it is. <laughs> so he writes Church Churchill a letter, because Churchill was the prime minister, but Churchill always had something to do with the military. And... Uh, Describes the thing to Churchill and how it flew and all this, and uh, ask him if it was theirs. And Churchill says, "No, it's not ours, but we would certainly like to have a look at it." Well, things got complicated after that, and they didn't ever get to look at it. I don't think I got much else. Can this quarterback we got throw the ball? That's what I want to know. I haven't seen any of it. He can throw it. Yeah, yeah, he can throw it. All right. Well, that's good. You know, because I can't imagine the fifth Bobby be throwing up in the box that he couldn't throw it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'd yeah. be down on the sideline sooner or later. Yeah. All right. I'll let y'all go. All right. Thank you, Big Mike. I Appreciate found the story it. on the uh, the crash. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Wow. 
So they found they thought they found UFOs. Yeah, this happened in uh, 1933. Yeah, yeah, we're still kind of friendly back then. Yeah, yeah everybody was still in a good mood. That's yes, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll read through that tonight. I nothing going on. No. Yeah, what do you got going on? Nothing. Well, well, I, I have a little draft party to go to. Oh, that's that. right. Yeah, you got that. And after that, then after that, I got absolutely read. nothing going on. You can read stuff. And, and DQ will tell you, there's nothing more boring than reading stuff from the World War II era. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yet she makes bread. And her big goal this week is to make bagels. I'm excited. Yeah. I've never tried bagels. You well, are, I no, I've eaten bagels, but I've never tried to make bagels. You are going to be the hit of the nursing home. Yeah. When you get in there at 29, you are going to be the hit of the nursing home. I mean, I have a stand mixer. It would be wasteful to not bake. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Here's a text. I feel like y'all wanted to put but at the end of the, yeah, you can throw it. Yeah. No, don't read too much into that. No, why would we? Uh, why would we do that? No, this kid has a uh, big time talent. We wouldn't know one of well. We wouldn't say anything otherwise, right? <laughs> it, it, I don't know. Who I, knows I, until he plays I a real it, game? I think I mean, it's come fair. On. Look, when he knows he's not going to get hit, and he can stand back there and, and look and scan and, and do all that stuff. Everybody's. You should look good. You shouldn't be the the kid up at Penn State that couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Oh. That Drew Drew Allar. Oh, Allar. God, he was bad, really bad, really, really. I really tell you bad. what, the spring games are a lot like the FCS games. Um, you can't learn much if you win, but you can learn a lot if you lose. Like if you play poorly, you learn a lot. If you play well, okay, you know maybe you know, play well. Let's see him against a real opponent, stuff like that. But that guy couldn't hit a bull in the butt with a base fiddle. I mean, uh, my lord. Well, the thing was, he he wasn't bad last year. Like he was a like a dark horse Heisman candidate last year he had a he had a good year and wasn't great by any stretch of the imagination but what we saw from them on on saturday was say something man you that's court ordered that's a guy that hang with me on this that's a guy that can get james franklin fired well if, if they don't win enough a it, okay one thing but then they're boring on top of that they like had, that'll that'll get a coach they had done one of their receivers think it was so bad he jumped in the portal today yeah. Well, who will blame him? Yeah, I mean, it was it was rough. Go, go, quarterbacks like that get coaches fired because the fans are, you know, they're uninterested. And if the fans are bored and you don't win enough, well, that that's the recipe right there. But he had a he had a bad day. He had a good year last year. It wasn't a great year, but he had a good year last year. Yeah. But he looked really, really, really bad. Yeah. Um, and they're gonna have. I mean, they've they've got some they got some things they got to sort out. But I, it, if I were James Franklin, who I don't like. Um, if no, I were James I Franklin, I would seriously be cons- I would be looking in the portal for somebody. Because uh, th- would he, he take the job here if offered? James Franklin? Yeah. No. You don't think he's so? A Pennsylvania guy. Um, well, he, I mean, uh, 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 Vanderbilt Saban's a, from West Virginia. But like, so Vanderbilt what? was a stepping stone. That's been his dream job. Unless they force him out, he's not coming here voluntarily. Well, they'll fire him. I mean, nobody leaves on their own accord much anymore, unless you're Nick Saban and he went five or six titles. I mean, that's uh, the only way out. <laughs> James Franklin, or you was, leave and go to LSU like yeah, Brian Kelly did. I was, I was reading. Oh boy, he's got issues. Um, what are his issues? Well, guys are leaving now. Oh. Um, you know, he brought Logan Diggs down, who was from Baton Rouge. You know, he went to Notre Dame his first year, and then he uh, he came to LSU. Well, he's transferring out. I think he went to Mississippi. Um, Brian Kelly's good. And Brian Kelly's good. I'm not worried about him. But James Franklin, man, he is. Um, he can't. He can't win the big one. Uh, he just can't. Um, well, Michigan and Ohio State have been his bugaboo. He just he no, cannot he can't. get them nope. o- get them over that hump. Now, those are two it. really good teams, but eventually you got to break through. And and they, he's been there a while. Took yeah. him to a Rose Bowl, lost, but he, he got him to the yeah, Rose Bowl. Well, that's right. Lost. He had Saquon Barkley. We've got uh, uh, people uh, stalking their exes this weekend. Oh, okay. um, uh, okay. JT and Hot Springs on the McCarty No Hotline. Uh, KJ looked like he's regressed. Uh, Hogballer KJ had two picks in the spring game at UCF. Oh, I didn't see the. I'm sorry. I wasn't watching much spring football over the weekend. I'm sorry. There was this um, small uh, gathering of uh, professional golfers in Augusta National that uh, held most of my sporting attention. That and the baseball uh, stuff from over the weekend. So forgive me for missing out on all these all the spring football. Man, y'all were really locked in out there. Well, wow. You, you got to, you got a little football in. That's fine. I mean, you weren't watching. Nobody's watching the UFL. So I'm good without football for a few months. I am too. I'm good. Uh, I'm I'm fine. I don't need UFL. I don't need spring football. I'm 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 still I'm good. Like it ended in February with the Super Bowl. And That's still enough for you're, me. You're okay. I don't miss it yet. 
I will miss it. It'll be, you know, June or something. I will miss it. I don't miss it. So I didn't need this. Uh, I didn't need a little uh, a little taste of the uh, the football action this weekend for me anyway. I, I, There's I too will, much other stuff going I, I on. I will I will watch one football game this weekend, and uh, oh, just, just the, a, the just spring a peak. game. Oh, just God. a peek. I just want to see who's where. See, um, I held you in a higher regard than most people, and now I don't. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm look. I'm not <laughs> planning my Saturday around it, but I am going to peek in and see what it looks like and. I you know, see, see who, see where the, I where the higher face. hopes for you. Yeah. Why? I don't know. What, I just, what I did. evidence have I given you? I had higher hopes for you. What, what have I done to deserve high You're praise? Like everybody yes, else. Yes, I Watch am. Spring game That's and overreacting. Right. Oh, I'm gonna man. make some cheese dip. I may, oh. I may barbecue. We're gonna, we're gonna fire up the grill. We're gonna do all kinds of make stuff. Make a grilled cheese on the grill. Hey guys, leave KJ alone. He's not your problem anymore. You got Yes, we know he did not have a great spring game, but I'll bet you, come, come August, he'll be fine. Or maybe not. I don't know. Nobody knows. Who knows? Worry, what does it what? matter today? Worry about your own team. Get your own house in order. Yeah, come on. You want you four games. Settle down. <laughs> oh, well. I love, um, I, love, I love college football season, but I don't need it right now. I need another four or five months just to decompress. No. Okay. Uh, DQ, speaking of the spring game, uh, have you thought about the game? <laughs> I wish I would have never said anything. <laughs> uh, that'll that'll teach you. At uh, that'll four, teach you. four fifteen, please log that into your journal. Give him, give him, I feel like that doesn't count. No, it does. Give him nothing. Give him nothing to work with. Yeah, I wouldn't give me anything. Don't to work do with. it. Absolutely Don't do it. not. Don't do it. Mm-mm. Uh, let's see here. What does this say? Uh, yeah, good point out of the 479. Uh, you brought this upon yourself. I just wanted to introduce a fun little activity for the group. What's that activity? The game. Did you just think about it? Oh, uh, <laughs> now it's over. Now it's over. No. Uh, Kevin uh, said uh, we about lost him. He thought I was going to say I was busy uh, playing squash over the weekend. You might be. Squash is the one with the long racket, right? I don't know. You don't. Come on. That's a, you're a country club guy. I'm not a country oh, club stop. guy. DQ, this morning. Now, the apple does not far, fall far from the tree. What happened? This morning, I uh, I opened my social media to a a post from his dad, and it and it's him waiting for the coffee shop that he goes to to open, and all it says is retirement has its benefits. Yeah, he's loving it. Apparently, it's double punch Monday. That's right. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> what and, and was the benefit of waiting? I, I guess it's... I'm not real sure. Well, you got to line up, and uh, it's it, you get two oh, he, punches he's on front, the. He's first in line. Is that what? Well, he's in the line somewhere. I didn't okay. see the picture. Yeah, he. Really... This is what they do. <laughs> they have they they have every week planned out exactly the same. It's wonderful, and they're happy. Uh -huh. What's wrong with that? Yeah, you have vision now. Yeah. You should be in a better I mood. Am, I well, no, I'm actually more pissed off because now I can see all the stuff I couldn't see before. <laughs> right. There, there, I had some sense. deniable. I had some deniable plausibility there. I, I mean, just or some plausible deniability. Is that, what did I say? You said That's deniable plausibility. Yeah. See, you see, tied it up. The, the eyes are back. The the brain's going to mush. You tied it up right yeah, there. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Didn't Zach grow up in a gated community? Listen. Yeah, but his parents told him well, they were poor. That, yeah, That's oh, different. My dad's still telling me he's poor. That's right. But the gate didn't go in until I was gone. Oh, I see. So I, I did not grow up in a gated community. It went in a year after I left. Oh, I see. It was after the fact. Right. Then we got the you know the guard that run, runs around on the golf cart. Okay. All right. Well, that's. <laughs> I'm amazed at some of these neighborhoods. Uh -huh. Like there's a hundred golf carts, no golf course in sight. No, 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 no. It's, it's got to get around. It's a status thing. I see. Yeah, it, it it's is a, it's a status oh, thing. That, you know, so that we can go to barbecues. It's like having home. your own pizza grill right. on the back deck. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's thing. all it is. Yeah. I see. All right, well, we'll, we'll break here. It's a 17 minutes after the hour here on Ruskin and Zach, 866-285-4005. The Limbird team is here. They're ready to go. If you're looking to sell your home, uh, you need the expertise and guidance and experience of the Limbird Real Estate Group. Terry and Melissa decided to sell their investment property in Fayetteville, and they knew they needed to help. They needed help to achieve a swift sale at an optimal price, so they turned to the Limbird Real Estate Group. Terry and Melissa were impressed with the team's expertise and dedication. They were confident they made the right choice with the Limbird team. The uh, property uh, was uh, showcased, highlighting its unique features and amenities to appeal to potential buyers. 
And in just a month, the property sold and fetched an impressive at the 16 grand above list price. Terry and Melissa were ecstatic with the outcome. And it is a testament to the Limber Real Estate Group and their commitment to delivering exceptional results. The Limber team has sold over $1 billion in real estate. And you can get a cash offer in 72 hours, or you can use Terra's high octane marketing. And sell your home quite possibly for thousands over asking. The agent I would trust if I was selling my home, Tara Limbird. Find out more about it at limbirdteam.com. L I M B I R D. Limbirdteam.com or Google Limbird Real Estate Group to check out the over 900 five star reviews. Do it. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866 285 4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. The madness continues at Mad Rooster Beer Company in Fayetteville. Mad Rooster brews high quality, innovative beer selections, including IPAs, stouts, fruited sours, and seltzers across their 30 taps. Mad Rooster has eight big screens and key game audio, so you won't miss a single minute of the action. Don't settle for an ordinary watch party when you can experience all the madness at Mad Rooster. Mad Rooster Beer Company, brewed locally in Fayetteville at 1107 Southwest Avenue. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hug, Chuck. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a 1,000 used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there, too, with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClarty daniel.com this pga tour moment is brought to you by true green craig norman Chevy ballesteros and augusta native larry mize began a sudden death playoff at the 1987 masters after ballesteros was eliminated missing a five-foot putt for par on number 10 mize and norman moved on to 11 mize sank a 140-foot chip for an improbable birdie norman failed to hold his and mize captured his first and only major with one of the most miraculous shots in major championship history true green the official lawn care treatment provider of the PGA Tour. I love a beautiful lawn. I hate doing lawn care. That's why I use True Green. They're the official lawn treatment provider of the PGA Tour. We all know those are some nice greens. So just imagine what they could do to your lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan by April 20th, get one application free. Visit TrueGreen.com for the best lawn at the best price. Guaranteed. Restrictions apply. When you're looking for your next side-by-side -side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Guild Mortgage. Guild Mortgage. Hey, this is Joey at Guild, located at 816 North Main Street here in Harrison. Many people ask me if it's a good time to buy, and the answer is yes. Even with the rising rates, it's a great time to buy. Here at Guild, we'll give you the honest and trustworthy advice on purchasing a home. So give us a call at 870-416-3755 or online at guildmortgage.com, and we will help you through the home loan process. Guild Mortgage Company, equal housing opportunity. Company MLS 3274, individual MLS 410478. All loans social underwriting approval. Terms and conditions apply. So to change without notice. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. 
Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years in business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice and prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house seasonings. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. One block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market. 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. 479-443-0000. Hey, Ty Richardson for Brett and Shannon Brundage at Fish City Grill. Local Arkansans who grew up in the state and are Razorback fans just like you. At Fish City Grill, you'll taste the difference with fresh shucked oysters and their chalkboard specials. Fish City Grill and Rogers, available for curbside pickup and delivery. 479-636-8833. Come by and see their team at 2003 South Bellevue Road in Rogers. Fish City Grill, your home for all things things seafood. Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spa's 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000 and construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy above-ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi-in-ground pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. Hi there, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Darby Bobby with the 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast out there this evening and overnight. We'll watch for a few spotty to scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area. Could be a strong one in there. We'll keep an eye on it for you through the morning hours. Temperatures don't drop much, only in the low 60s. As we go throughout the day on Tuesday, another chance for a few hit and miss showers and storms. Could be a severe one in there. We'll be watching that very closely on Tuesday as well. Highs in the upper 70s, windy for us. And then we quiet down for Wednesday with high temperatures back in the low 80s. That's Get Ready Weather only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. Giving you the entertainment you deserve. Here's Ruskin and Zach. The news is brought to you by Good Chair. I had to have a place to sit. Get the good chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by. Tell Robert you want a seat in the good chair. And the Joe Bonamassa suck. The Arkansas baseball team dropped two out of three over the weekend to 16th ranked Alabama. Now Watch 30. Your mouth. What? We State talked about that. losing. Don't don't just, do that. Well, I mean, the war machine putting them up. Uh, Arkansas is now 30 and five on the year, 12 and three in the league. A and M. Uh, they lead A and M by a game. Uh, in the SEC West, Arkansas will play Texas Tech. Two game set starts tomorrow at 7 p.m. Football team. At its annual red-white scrimmage on Saturday, the defections have begun. Isaiah Augustov, a running back, ran for 200 yards last year. He is in the portal, as well as quarterback Jacoby Criswell, who transferred in from Tennessee. The Ruskin and Zach Expos brought to you by our very good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Baseball lost two out of three. Is this cause for concern? 81.2% of you said, nah, much ado about nothing. Is everyone out to get you? 50.5% of you said yes. Are you seizing the day or is the day seizing you? 72.5% of you that said the day is seizing me. Which is worse, mom mad or dad mad? 60.9% of you said mom mad. Have you ever knowingly cheated on your taxes? 82.4% of you said no. Is Tai Chi just a slow motion tantrum? 49.4% of you say yes. And... Do you think you could win the Masters if you started on the green from the furthest point from the hole? 75.3% of you said no. Those are your Ruskin and Zach. X polls brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479 225 8809. I do want to give a shout out to yes. a great American. Yes. Boban Marjanovic of oh. the Houston Rockets, DQ. Last night, Boban, this. in game number 82 of the regular season, which the Houston Rockets are woefully not going to make the NBA playoffs. No. Boban missed two free throws because there was a promotion that if a uh, Rockets player misses two free throws consecutively, uh, the entire arena gets free chicken from Chick-fil-A. 
Boban missed the first, recognized that we were on the precipice of history. The Rockets had the game in hand, and he missed the free throw. So tanked they, it. He tanked it so the entire arena got free chicken. Although sometimes it's harder to miss one than to make one. These are professional athletes, Derek. Well, These that's are not true. ham and eggers. Look, he <laughs> understands. <laughs> And uh, he also get free Chick-fil-A. Well, I don't think uh, that Boban necessarily cared. But after he missed the first one, he understood what the assignment was because he started pointing to the crowd and saying, I know and I got this. And then as he he said, I got you, fam. Then as he stepped to the line, the crowd started to get into it. He kept pointing to his chest. You know, I got you. And then he bricked it. The show business. I love that. That that is entertainment. That's a great American right there. That is uh that is uh, entertainment. DQ, where do you come down on that? Now, of course, the, that feels like some kind of the only people who are upset are the the guy who owns the Chick Fil A and the uh, and the betters. Those are the only people. Yeah, that seems that like could some kind of bet. betting fraud or something. I don't know. You know yeah. what, DQ? Or um, we, the consumer of sports, get screwed over. That seems yeah. illegal. Every this, single it seems turn. illegal somehow. <laughs> Abner's right. We're bricking for chicken. That's exactly right. <laughs> yes, sir. I love that. That is a fun part about uh-huh. uh, over there. If they if the Razorbacks score over seventy five, uh, you get uh, Chick Fil A on the house. Uh, but you have like a certain time period like, to use the coupon. I'm all for it. bricking for chicken. Yeah, I say go for it. That's the Chick Fil A. You kidding me? So thank you, Babo. I went to Bo- Chick Fil A. Bo- whatever his name is, Bobo Sol- Baggins, Bobo Bilbo <laughs> Baggins, whatever his name is. Ah. You're at the end of the Rockets bench, but uh, salute. Hey, look at him thank go. Thank you very much. Yeah. You know, we, the association's uh, playoffs are getting uh, yeah, the tomorrow. tournament yeah. starts tomorrow here. Um, and uh, I would, uh, I don't know how many Thunder fan we, fans we have listening, but uh, I know you're the one seed. You're not winning the title. So you're not even going to the finals. So the West is fun. Nice. The West is, uh, the West is loaded. Anyway, yeah. anybody, anybody who gets into the final eight could, could wind up pulling it off, winning the West. They're all that good. There, there, there is the no- Warriors cannot win this, the West. They can't do it. I just I treat them like the Chiefs until there's the stake is in their heart. Well, they've been and beaten before. I'm just playoffs. saying, but they keep coming back. But Draymond does something stupid. He gets thrown out. Then he gets suspended. That's right. two losses and then right Steph there. Steph hits five three pointers in a row, and a and a nine point lead goes to a twenty four point lead, and they're and they're on the. Road. I don't think so. I don't, I'm I not saying they're, they're going to. They're, not, they're done. And I'll tell you this too. As a uh, as a bandwagon Bucks fan, we ain't getting past the Pacers. That ain't happening. No. That is not no. happening. No, you're not. Not getting past the Pacers. Let's go, Knicks. The Knicks are waiting on the seventh seed. Mm-hmm. They're either going to play uh, Philadelphia or uh, Miami. Neither one of those teams a great matchup. <laughs> Neither Perfect. one. Neither one. Perfect. That means the Knicks are probably going home in the first round. Well, there's all this nostalgia if you get Knicks heat because, you know, they used to have all those fights in the 90s. That was a very physical time in the NBA. Yes. uh, Jeff Van Gundy biting Alonzo Mourning's ankle. That's right. I wish I'd thought of that in 1987 when we played that. When you were guarding Alonzo Mourning. Well, I wasn't guarding him. Well, you were on the floor with him. Little old me at six foot and 155 pounds was coming down to double Alonzo. Oh, Um, boy. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah. But I'm sorry, Thunder fans. You're not winning the. Uh, you're not winning the, uh, the the conference. They're fun. I mean, that, that's it's a, a fine team. SGA is fun. It's a fine team. They're it, not winning the. It, they're not winning the conference. Got to do something with that beard. Uh, I'm not. I'm not big on that. And that SGA Holmgren commercial is terrible. Yeah. And Jamie, why are you hating on Oklahoma City? I'm just giving We're you nuts. an opinion. When did this become hating? Because I don't agree with you. Is that what it is? Then I win in the West. It's my opinion. Who's the, who's the two in the West right now? Denver. Den- the defending champs. Can I ask a dumb question? By all means. We um we, know, do we, we went through like the 80s and the 90s, all these guys that were in just tremendous shape in the NBA. Like if I was, you know, in my early 20s right now, when I look at Luka and uh Jokic, I mean they are doughy and not in shape. I think I could have played. Think of it. Think about that. Could have played. Neither one of them is in great shape, but somehow they're two of the three best players in the league. Yeah. Especially Jokic. He's a freak. Yeah. He's like finger rolling three pointers. I know. Like, what is he's going on crazy. out there? Crazy. He's, a, he's not from this planet. I All don't right. think. It says Chet Holmgren looks homeless. Um, it, it's unhoused. He's not a, he's not a, it's permanent outdoors. Right. Um, it's it just the beard hey. ain't working. Look at this. Anthony Black. 
in uh, his rookie year. The Magic are in the uh, in the tournament here, taking on Cleveland in the first round. Yeah, that'll be fun. He's that, had a nice. That little, feels like an NBA TV a, series to me. He's had a nice series. He's had a nice year. He's good. Um, he's he, good. He was by no means the the center of what they do, but he was a nice little piece that they got early in the draft. And you know, he and Ban Carroll give them you know a nice little window where you might have a couple of years where this uh, this thing can take off. All right, enough sports. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's twenty six minutes until the hour. We'll be right back. This is Ruskin and Zach. My rolly don't take it glides. <laughs> ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Is your heating and air system up to task? Call Kelly and Larry, the champion heating pros at Unlimited Heating and Air to schedule your heating and tune-up service. Champion brand offers a 10-year parts and labor warranty on all new and replacement systems. Special tune-up pricing, $79. Military discounts as well as civil service discounts too. Unlimited Heat and Air is veteran-owned and supports all lines of civil service. Call today, 479-225-8809. Unlimited Heating and Air your champion home comfort experts. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols and everything Thing they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Scheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. It started as a dream, and here you are. It's moving day. But wait, isn't moving supposed to be stressful? Oh, that's right. You bought your home using Weikert Realtors. Your Weikert agent guided you from start to finish to help make sure we found you your perfect place. Dream, move, home, Weikert. Call your local Weikert Realtors office today and make your move. And look for our bright yellow signs. At Weikert Realtors, we sell more because we do more. Each Weikert franchised office is independently owned and operated. WT Equipment is your home for New Holland ag and construction equipment, sales, parts, and service. For high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators. WT Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, wtequip.com. You won't miss a moment of the action at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. Cold drinks and hot food specialties, sure to score points with your entire crew. Come watch all the games at On The Mark, 6,000 square feet of sports entertainment with over 40 flat screen TVs and the best smoked wings. Only at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill, 2588 North Gregg Avenue in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. On The Mark, all the games, all the time. Your Mach 1 market moment. And inflation is something we've been talking about for a long, long, long time. It's trickling into 24. It's still here. Yep. You know, it's it's a different conversation than it was a year ago. You know, and I like this, how are Americans feeling? Yeah. You know, we see clients in our office every day, all ages, demographics. And I would say that there might be a slight tick up in optimism, but, you know, there there's still some pessimism. Oh, there, for sure. Some, some concern. I mean, I, here in Northwest I Park. just had a conversation with a client yesterday that they were like, things, everything's so expensive. Yeah. Just the basics of going to the grocery store and you walk out with two bags and it was 150 bucks. And that's a very real thing that getting the basics it, and trying to get by day to day. And 
it's costing a lot of money these days to do that. And Visit Mach1FG.com to hear the whole conversation and get your investment questions answered. For full disclosures, visit Mach-1Financial.com forward slash disclosures. This summer, take control of your outdoor space with a mosquito misting system from Mosquito Joe. It's the ultimate solution for mosquito-free living. Mosquito Joe installs cutting-edge misting systems discreetly around areas such as pools, patios, and boat docks to create a protective barrier that banishes those annoying bugs. The best part is you don't have to do a thing. It's like having a mosquito control technician in your yard 24-7. Visit arkansas.mosquitojoe.com. ESPN 99.5. Live across Arkansas, this is Ruskin and Zach. All right, we're back here uh, 20 minutes or so until 5 o'clock. Clay Henry's coming up at uh, 5 o'clock, and we'll uh, talk about that. This is your drive home powered by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service Um, your home? um, Give us a um, jingle, um, or um, just um, use um, this one. You don't have to put up with any malarkey called 888 Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. God, that was boring. (laughs) (laughs) Look, another player has rung the bell. That means he did his personal best. Elf. Woo pig. Right. Yeah. Here we go. Top dog. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are uh, here. We are um, oh, more than willing to listen to your uh, overreaction to the uh, Razorback weekend. Uh, Gallup Pirey does not have any players yet. Uh, the baseball team lost to Alabama. And uh, the football team, you know, is um, ready to go 12 and 0 uh, after the. Red white performance. The red team won. Is that correct? PQ, you were there. Did you no, was? I wasn't. Oh, I thought you were there. No. You were giving me like inside information. Well, my sister was there. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, I do have our uh, our our not sponsored uh, foot preseason football report. Okay, this should be it then, right? Uh, this will be it. We had a man on the ground uh, who was S- in in the stadium, unsullied by corporate greed that since 1980. So first, uh, after the game, Sam Pittman took to the mic. Offensive line issues, back issues, running route issues, tight end issues. Uh, now this is this is on the ground reporting. Oh yes, um, I I was told the offensive line was dominant, oh. which is more impressive because the twos and threes on the D line are going to play a lot because the quality depth they have developed during the spring. This sounds like. Uh... The uh, the PR uh, firm wrote this. I <laughs> hate him. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Yeah, well, I think so. Really? That's what you. That's what you. That, that was there? that. Yeah, that's that's what I got because uh-huh. uh, the, you know it's the depth on the defensive line is uh, is uh-huh. going to uh, it's, it's going to tip the thing a little bit. Yeah, I see. Well, Augustov leaving. Look, if if that's his decision, that's one thing. But if they didn't put up some sort of effort to keep him from an NIL standpoint, I think that's a mistake. Um, but that's just my opinion, and uh, maybe they uh, maybe they know more than I do. Somebody about the was to the odd man out. That was a very deep uh, room. There were a lot of yeah. guys that uh, that they think can play, and you know, if, if you're if you're fifth or sixth in that group, then you got to go somewhere else. Yeah. If only we had full faith and confidence that they would make the right call over there. But I don't know if anybody can really well, say that at this well, point. We'll, we'll just how about we wait and see. We'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. Let let's you know let the portal open tomorrow. And uh, and we'll we'll see what uh, what kind of players they target. Where do they where do Port- they feel like they need to improve? Portal time is endlessly fascinating because they have no control over it. So you get like you know, on both sides you get the truth, what they think, what the players think mm-hmm. about someone's ability to quote unquote do the job or whatever it is. So um, and then a Criswell is going on the portal, uh, yeah. according to uh, multiple reports. So uh, that uh, didn't work out, and now he's uh. What's he trying to do? Like find somewhere to play? Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, you know, he leaves North Carolina to come here, come home. Well, now he has to sit out, right? No. Oh, he doesn't. No. Oh, you just like oh, yeah, just, that's right. Look, there man, he rules. just hopscotch from from just jobs. Play, nobody There's cares. guys that played seven uh, at seven schools in seven years. Um, yeah. you just you pack up and you go, and and I don't know what uh, his skill set is is probably. I mean, he'd be perfect at a Big Twelve school. 
where they don't play a lot of defense and he can just stand back there and sling it. Um, you know, the SEC doesn't uh, doesn't provide uh, a lot of breaks on the defensive side of things. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I don't. I don't. I mean, it's just uh, it's hard to gleam anything significant um, when you're playing against the backups. They're not even no, ones Jerry, on these ones. Are, these, are, these guys are going to play a lot, according to my eyes in the stadium. Uh, the twos and threes are going to play a significant role in it's, in it's what's going to tell happen. You that? First of all, you know it wasn't tied because the word significant was used. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. It's a big yeah. word. No. I just don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me let me see some games, and then I can uh, get a better, uh, give you a better well, idea. a pretty good idea where they are uh, after the Oklahoma State game. You know, call me then. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, let's see here. We got uh, all that stuff. But now, as far as uh, baseball uh, going on here, we were, you know, people are expecting, you know, people are, People see the internet on their phone. Mm-hmm. They see the uh, comments, the tweets, the uh, posts, and what have you. And they think that this is how the real world works. And the truth is that that is not really the overwhelming viewpoint of your fan base. Um, most people are reasonable and uh, are bummed out. But um, I know someone very bummed out by the uh, Alabama <laughs> series. Um, They're 30 and 5. That's also true. Yes, that's right. Which means they have to go fourteen and two the rest of the way to achieve. Well, they your, did uh, that. They've done that already. Your uh, your um, uh, record uh-huh. of right. seven losses in the regular season. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if they uh, can um, um, you know, go on another uh, another road trip this weekend before or after this uh, Texas Tech thing, which is which comes at a pretty poor time, honestly. I guess. I mean, Dave is spinning it. You know, this is a great time. You know, you kind of see. You know what these guys are made of after uh, something like that. So uh, maybe, maybe he's right. Maybe well, he's usually right. Look, look, they've got, it's going to be the next couple of weeks. Or, I mean, you got Texas tech. This is not a great Texas tech team coming in. They're fine. They're, 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 they're okay. They're fine. nine and nine in the big 12. They're right. going to play South Carolina on the weekend, Florida, the following weekend, Florida's a mess. Uh, Missouri state. Who's always been a thorn in your side. Then you end up with Kentucky, Mississippi state, and a and M. I mean, two of the, two of the best teams in the league. You've got, in the last three weeks. So we're going to know a lot about them by the time, you know, May, May 18th rolls around. We'll, we'll know, we'll know a great deal about them. They've only got a month left in the season and then, uh, then we get on with it. Yeah. I mean, a text out of North Carolina about the, uh, uh, UAPB game being moved to Thursday and the salt bowl being on Friday. Listen, the, the this is a hundred percent, a television decision. The U of a doesn't give one hot damn about the salt bowl. Okay, they don't care about any high school football in the state of Arkansas. No. At that school, but that, they really don't. No, it's a TV thing, and the TV tells you when you play, you play. That's the university it. did not have a have a say in any of this. So yeah. you know, it is it, it, salt bowl is fine on Saturday. I've been to it on Fridays. It, it's it's a hell of a it's a hell of a weekend. I love the uh, salt bowl, but I, the U of A doesn't care about it enough to have it dictate now, when the game is the played. The question is, which one's going to have bigger attendance? An interesting question. Salt bowl has put 30, 35 in there. Yeah. Thursday night, UAPB, late. Possibly hot. Yeah. That, Work I mean, week. Yeah. Not a holiday uh, weekend. That's what I'm saying. The salt yeah. ball may look at this and go, thank you. Yeah. You know, we, we get Saturday. Cool. Yeah. That's right. Um, Is the field turf down there? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay. I just got a text. It's about a high school game not tearing up the field. It's turf. They play multiple high school football games in one day. I knew yeah. I knew there was grass up here. I didn't know if they'd gone down there or not. It's, I can't remember. I don't know. I haven't been in that stadium in, I don't know, eight years maybe, ten years? I don't know when the last time I went to that stadium was. I really don't. I was at the ULM game. That wasn't a Colton Browning. positive memory Colton Browning. of being in that stadium. No, but it, uh, it, it's, it, it's fine. They I think play. I was there after that. Too, they they can play games on back-to-back days. It has nothing yeah. to do with, uh, with the turf. No. Now it might have something to do with the supply of water. Well, that's really boy, that's, that's dicey. That's, that's doing uh, two games in ninety six hours or seventy two hours, well, like twenty four hours. Well, they're doing Thursday and Saturday, right? They're playing they, Friday. Oh, play Friday night. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Boy. Good luck. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what they usually play it on a Saturday. I think, or they have in the past. I don't know. If usually, I'm over my skis on the on that. But it's a anyway. great game. Man. Oh, it's a fun. It's 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 a uh, it's a you know. It's, you know, I would love to go. I never, uh, I never have gotten to go, but my, it just is I've a been, I've great. Been two, I've been to two of them. My favorite part of that event 
is that the team that won the year before lets their PA guy do the game. Oh, I see. And you will hear people from the other team grumbling about the PA guy in yeah. the press box. That's how you know of, it's a rivalry. It is one of the funniest things. And and it's not it's not even good natured. No. Because, you know, the year I was there, um, uh, Bryant had won it. And their PA guy was doing it. The Benton people were not happy. Because, <laughs> you know, there, Jimmy on the tackle. I called him Jimmy. Yeah. It was, it, I mean, they, they, he almost refused to, to identify yeah. the Benton kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was. Um, I know people that do games like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, not the PA guy, but it, it was, it was really, really funny. Um, I'd never been, it was the first time I'd gone and to just, I mean, they don't like each other. Yeah. It's great. They really, really don't like each other. It's absolutely great. Fantastic. Um, anyway, that is uh that's what's going on there. You got the um the game. Arkansas plays Thursday night and then the uh we're gonna play the Salt Bowl. They announced yeah. it a Friday night there. Yeah, well, the, uh, I mean the UAP team is nothing more than a spring game with uh, with the other team. I mean they're yeah. gonna, they'll race through them like uh, well, you get to see the uh what is it, the marvelous marching musical machine of the mid south or was, whatever. That's pretty that, good. Now that is the highlight of the show. Absolutely. That is, is the highlight. I, I love a good marching band. Yeah. I mean, if, if don't give me your 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 artistic impression, man. Just get down. You know what I mean? <laughs> let's just get down. <laughs> now, I'm sorry. I, I just let's just get to it. I don't want you out there with the ribbons and stuff. Just man, let's jam. Let's go. Those uh, wooden rifles oh, that they throw around okay, that now, are fake. Now, the rifle team, that's one thing. Well, they're not the that's rifle a, team. They're the, uh, they're the what do you call them? Um, the team that twirls stuff. It, you know, you're bringing props out there. Just stop. Just play the music. Play the hits. Yeah. And then we yeah. get into the, uh, the the whole thing where you're not the show. Get on the field. Do your thing. Get off. In time. Do the traditional Go Hawks right. spell out. Right. Do that. Right. Did they do go uh, the Go Elks spell out at Elk and Speak You? No, the band isn't quite as big as mm. the RMB. Yeah, that might be difficult. <laughs> okay. yeah, all right, all right. Ooh, industry term. Yeah. RMB. Oh, sorry. That, the RMB. For those that are for those that uh, don't have closed captioning, that's <laughs> Razorback marching band. For the uninitiated, oh, excuse the us. Razorback marching Idle band. Idle rich. I'm part of the RMB. A hoi polloi. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is uh, that's something. Well, it'll be a it'll be a fun weekend. We're only like a hundred something days away from. No, 120 some odd days away. Shut up. From the uh, <laughs> just shut up. DQ, you know what time it is? It's time for some editing. On with the countdown. No, we shouldn't have to edit. You just have to load now. You no, made them all. Yeah. Yeah, we just gotta load. We just them load them 20 at a time. That's right. There you go. Worst. I invented that. You yeah, know? you well, you I thanks. stole it. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Gives y'all something to do. I actually kind of like it. Let the interns do it. Wait, 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 what? I actually kind of like it. I love loading things into the system. It is so much fun to me. You put all the dates in, you got to get it all right. I love it. Yeah, it's true. You're going to wish you had. Data entry. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> You're going to wish you hadn't said that. Yeah. Because I felt bad this morning handing you that thing that Ty sent to me. Oh, well, that was a little complicated, but I love. Well, it was only complicated because this email you know, made absolutely no but sense. I figured it out. Here's the thing about this. I think I have a, I think I have a, real, a feeling on all this. Um. We like, and that's basically data entry, what you're talking about. Yes. You know, <laughs> we like it because we never have to do it all that often. If you had to do that all day, though, you'd hate yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You'd hate yeah. it. If you just sat there and just punched in numbers on the spreadsheet yeah. all day. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's see how much you like I like, it. I don't know. I like putting, this is getting, you know, really into radio talk, but I like putting it in the, in the segments in folder. And then having it come out into another folder. That is so cool. Yeah, it, uh, the, uh, the system <laughs> automatically know, processes yeah, stuff for those of you that don't know. It's pretty and, exciting. And most places you don't have to do that, but we have to do it here. That's right. Oh, yeah. well. It's, it's beautiful. Though. It works. I like the yeah. extra step. It's fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the extra step. We uh, that, that should be in our slogan. We are, we are your <laughs> extra step station. <laughs> Nobody knows. All What's right. The temperature in here? It says 73. I love this. You want to uh, you want to uh, shout them out? Oh uh, yeah, guys from uh, Kinty Jones came by yeah. and, uh, and it fixed the air conditioning. They have, yeah. We were low on some sort of uh, no, 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 sub- no. We weren't low. We, we didn't have any. Oh, we had none. No, there had well, that's been, very there, low. There had been none loaded. Critical levels. Right. So, uh, so yes, he just, he's like, y'all should be getting cooler now. I'm like, oh yeah, yes, sir. We there are you in, go, uh, man. We are in great. I love shape. it. So shout out to our our friends at Kinty. Zach Jones. got it done. Well, you made the phone call. I made the phone call. I didn't do anything. Special. Hey, that's getting it done. I simply made the phone call. Yeah. 
That's getting it done right there. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> make the phone call. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Clay's coming up here at the yeah. uh, top of the hour, yeah. and uh, we'll see what this uh, discussion entails. Uh, I saw that uh, Vern Lundquist hung it up over the weekend mm-hmm. after 40 Masters broadcasts. 40 it's years a nice of round Masters number. broadcasts. Yeah, it's a good time to go. And, uh, you know, it's time. It's time. It's in his 80s. Having a hard time getting around. Like he had a cane out there. Yeah, and you got to climb up in that thing or whatever. I get it. it. I get it, man. I'm I'm 30 years behind him. I'm struggling to move around. Yeah, you need a cane. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more coming up here in a minute. Drive home powered by Mr. Sparky. Hickey and Hole Law Partners have you covered in the River Valley, Northwest Arkansas, Little Rock, and in Mina. Hickey and Hole Law specializes in divorce and custody cases, civil uh, litigation, and Hickey and Hole has over 70 years of combined experience, and they're ready to put that to work for you. Go to KevinHickeyLaw.com and find out more about it. Or call 479-434-2414 today to schedule your consultation. Or go out and see them. Hickey and Holt Law Partners in the River Valley, Northwest Arkansas, Little Rock, and in Mina. KevinHickeyLaw.com or 479-434-2414. Back with more coming up after these messages of great importance to your health and well-being. Stay with us. I'm Allison Wise in the 4829 Newsroom. A Fayetteville man is accused of killing his ex-girlfriend. He rejected a plea deal and now faces the death penalty. The Washington County prosecutor said Casey Jennings was expected to enter a plea when he was in court on Monday. Instead, Jennings continued his not guilty plea. He's accused of killing Allison Castro in August 2022. Police arrested Jennings a month after she was reported missing. And the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission is warning Arkansans to be on the lookout for invasive snails. A species has been found in shipments of live crawfish to Arkansas from Louisiana. They say they want the public's help to prevent the spread of giant apple snails. The snails eat large amounts of aquatic plants, which can damage habitats for fish and wildlife, and it can be detrimental to rice farms. They've also been known to carry diseases that can be transmitted to humans. Those are your headlines. I'm Allison Wise. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too, with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClartyDaniel.com. Supply issues are no issue at Shamrock Roofing and Construction. As one of America's largest roofing companies, we stock up early and we stock up big. We can do your job right now. And because we paid less for our material, we can share those savings with you. Call today or visit us at shamrockroofer.com. Attention homeowners, storms are firing up quickly and widespread damage means thousands are reaching out for the right roofing company. Don't wait. Get on the schedule with Shamrock Roofing and Construction now for quality and peace of mind. One call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call 479-319-5100. For the past several years, you've been casting your votes for the best of Northwest Arkansas, and the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater in Springdale has received many of them. Best new restaurant, best sports bar, best steakhouse, best overall restaurant, best chicken wings, and for 2023, best sports bar and best salad. Check out their event room for parties and banquets. Be sure to sign up for rewards points and follow the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Facebook. Check them out at theallamericansteakhouse.com, then come in and see for yourself. The All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. 
Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPN Arkansas digital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hit that to schedule an appointment who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama you need a team of agents with decades of experience commitment and of course tens of thousands in marketing you need the Lindbergh team home of arkansas's only instant offer program get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours Lindbergh real estate group is the number one team in arkansas with over one billion dollars sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row serving all of northwest arkansas Salt, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LimbirdTeam.com. L-I-M-B-I-R-D. Welcome to Lighthouse Financial, where they understand your financial life is more than a rate of return. With over 60 years of combined experience, the Lighthouse Financial team of experts look to help reduce the amount of taxes you'll pay during your retirement years. If your current advisor isn't incorporating taxes into your retirement planning, then give Lighthouse Financial a call at 479-696-8234. That's 479-696-8234 or online at lhfinancial.net. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a 1,000 used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there, too, with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClartyDaniel.com. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Oh. <laughs> All right, Ruskin and Zach continues here. This fine Monday, although it's tax day, so how fine could it really be? It uh, hurt, Derek. It hurt. Yeah, it's not. It's it not didn't ideal. Feel great. No, I believe me. I understand. All right. Uh, Clay's coming up. Your drive home is powered by Mr. Spark. You need a licensed electrician to service wow, your home? Wow, Give us wow, a jingle. Wow, wow, or wow, just wow, use wow. this hey. one. You don't have to pull up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. They have petitions everywhere. What? Everywhere you go, there is someone with a petition. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see any petitions uh, Saturday no. morning. Oh, you didn't? Nope. Oh, no. DQ. Nope. Nope. Do not do that. No, didn't see any. Mm-hmm. But I'm more of a hunter-gatherer rather than a shopper. I know where I'm going. I go there. I get it. I leave. That's it. What'd you get? Cinnamon roll. That's it? Yeah. You went to a farmer's market? really not why you should go. Yeah, to that really that's what market. I went for. <laughs> okay. These cinnamon rolls are worth going. Let me tell you. Okay. All right, Clay Henry is with us now here on Ruskin and Zach. Uh, Clay, of course, a, a contributor on HitThatLine.com and uh, all kinds of stuff going on. Tying flies at the fly shop. That was uh, today. That was today, yeah. Are Where you are just, the cicadas? I, I think I got about eight. It's uh, the ground. Zach, take notes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because we've we've gone through this. Yeah, but it was like 80 degrees over the weekend. But it's like. 45 or 50 at night. I mean, it's got a, the ground. 
we need to get you a thermometer and you can stick it in the ground. And when it hits 64, they'll be here. It's like, oh. it's just, it's repeat after me. 64 degrees. Say it, Zach. I feel 64. Say I feel it. like we're in a monster movie. Say it. <laughs> 64 degrees. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. So when much. can the, when's that going to happen? I think in the next week. I mean, I'm ready. Ask Darby. I've got, yeah, and great. I'm selling them like crazy. They auctioned off a box of my cicadas at uh, uh, Arkansas Game and Fish uh, Banquet in Mountain Home, and I think they went for over $200. Just 12 of them. Just 12 so, of them. So is this like the Clay Henry line? Like, is this a, you know, you have your own line of. Uh, oh, yeah. There's no, uh, nobody else has them. I mean, uh, every fly is unique. I mean, it's your fly. Uh, I have a pattern that I went by that I found on YouTube, uh, you know, a famous tire. But then I, you know, I changed it. Oh, changed I made the game. It better. Well, they had, uh, you know, like uh, elk hair wing, and I changed it to a white wing because you can see it better. You know, like when you cast it out there, it's kind of like an indicator, like a little white post that you can see. So you, you need to know where it is so you can mend your line. This is way too much geeky, I know. But uh, I want my hoppers, my cicadas, I want to have, you know, a big white post so you can see it from, you know, like 50, 60 feet. Wow. Cool. I like it. So I'll have some for you guys. 64 degrees, look, Zach. That's what I take away from all is this. That's, yeah, that's the only thing I got out of So when we that. say at the end of this, this hour, what did you learn today? What are you going to say, Zach? 64 degrees. 64 okay. degrees. You, the cicadas, you, cicadas are going to crawl out of their hole in the ground. Can we hang some of the flies here in the studio? <laughs> I've got a wall here that I I'm, I need to put some stuff sure. on. Sure. Okay. Sure. All right. Yep. I, I mean, I'll hang them up with the banners and the T-shirts and all the stuff that we have in here. Strikes pants. Yeah. Quite a collection. Yeah. No, I'll get you some. Okay. And you know, just... some people stick them on their ball caps, you know, like. Yep. You know, that's, oh, okay. yeah. Seen that. And these are big. These are big flies, big foam flies. Good. So, yeah. So it's, uh, you know, they're selling at the fly shop. I mean, they're selling. Well, like everybody's getting cakes. ready, man. This is like the next, you know, the, the, the rapture didn't nobody come else. With... None of the other fly shops. They're not tying cicadas. They don't have them. No, well, oh, the wow. rapture didn't come with the eclipse. So we're going to send in the cicadas. Everybody needs to get ready. You know what? You know what? We'll, you'll know it when it happens. Okay. Tell me why you'll know it. Hmm. The noise. The noise yeah. it is deafening. I mean, it is. It's you know, it's it's I like that one, right? You, yeah, okay, I got that one right. Okay, you right. nailed it. You I'll nailed talk. it. <laughs> the noise. It is deafening. It is very loud. You know that you will know it. I mean, when it hits dark, I mean, they're they are they're gonna make a racket. Is it a statewide they're big, thing? There are big bucks. For, or is it like a statewide thing, or is it like a, a certain area? I think that... North Arkansas is gonna have it. You know more. Uh, you know, more dense, uh, you know, hatch than, say, the southern part of the state. And uh, as you go north and northeast, you'll have both the 13-year and the 17-year. We know we're going to get the 13-year. Do they know year. each other? Did like, like... <laughs> well, they know they've never been out at the same time. Okay, Just right, figure okay. it up. There's right. 13 years ago, it was the 13th, well, yeah, 17 you know, maybe knew them as kids So this is a convergence. It's going to be like, it's like the eclipse. It'll be like another 200 years before you have the convergence. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to be here the next time it happens. Well, I don't. I don't think you have to worry about that. I appreciate. That. I mean, this is, a, well, this is two hundred years. I mean, this is a heck of a year. Just think about this. We had the eclipse. Yeah. We've got the cicadas. John Calipari came to Arkansas. Yes. By the way, I know where he lives. I know where he's living. Oh, really? Just off Dixon Street. Yeah. For I think he's probably going to buy a house eventually, but he had to have some place to to headquarter. And then Bobby Petrino came back. Just think about all of those things happened at the same time. Wow. Well, 2024. And then, the you know, the, the rarest of rare. You guys are still on the air. Well, that is a yeah, quite that's an really, upset. That's the, biggest, <laughs> uh, that's the biggest one of the week. It's an upset. Yeah. It is, it is I mean, surprising every day. So the odds, you know, of Arkansas winning the national championship going to the Final Four, they increased probably tenfold. And there were people betting against you guys about a year ago. Or, or was that two years ago? Well, it was, two it was years one ago. and two years ago, <laughs> and three years ago, and four years ago, and five years ago. Fooled them all. Yeah. Well, yeah, we tricked them again. But I mean, that's, they could be that's when today. DQ came along and saved, saved the whole, butt. saved the whole operation, saved the show. Right. Yep. She saved the show. And y'all are still mean to her. What? That's surprising. Mean to her. <laughs> and I mean, it's like if 
if somebody saves you, you should be nice. I agree, Clay. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that you was very AI. Much. That was AI. Oh, it was. That was AI okay. uh, DQ right there. That's it sounded pretty close. AI it DQ. Though? It's like a like wheel of fortune or something mm-hmm. here. Yeah, there was a lot to uh, unpack from the uh, weekend specifically, and I guess you know the the Calipari thing officially happened since the last time uh, we we spoke to you, Clay. I mean, it was in the air that this was probably the way it was going to go, but um, we were. Yeah. Uh, it, so was, was it wasn't to pen to paper. Run. Yeah, I was listening to you guys, you know, like right before the announcement. And I, I mean, I don't know why, but y'all were talking about kangaroos. I have no <laughs> idea <laughs> what, what that was is. about. I mean, you got the whole state like, give me John Calipari something, and y'all were y'all were throwing out kangaroos. We were. That's right. We stand yeah. by that decision. Yes, we do. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it next time they hire John Calipari. Well, it's a once in a generation thing. So I yeah. think that's yeah. that school screws it up more than they get it hey, right. I so fun. I feel good about it. So <laughs> writing for hit that line, hit that line.com, writing the, the day after column. That's one of the most fun things I've done in a long time. You know, you got an excuse to call Warren Stevens at Augusta. You got an excuse to call Johnny Tyson. It's like, how are you guys friends? And man, I got them both. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that is a. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was some event and uh, some uh, man, a, a confidence uh, a boost for everybody. Hey, wasn't Ch- wasn't Chuck right? good? Chuck was good, wasn't he? The, I, you know, on the stage. I, we yes, and uh, we talked about this earlier. Um, you know, I we have been nothing but uh, complimentary of the Arkansas ceremony and the whole thing. It just went. First of all, it started on time which is rare. It went well, but the Kentucky thing was cool too. Like I think uh, both can win. Cause I mean, having Pope come in and the arena's full and all that stuff. That was a, uh, that was a pretty good show on their part also. And I hate Kentucky so, clay. I'm telling so you how many people in Arkansas said they hired the Pope knew who he was. No, oh, they nobody, don't know who he is. No, nobody no. knew. Nobody and knows. I mean, yeah. and, and they, he played at Kentucky. So, you know, the, big blue nation for you know they they knew who he was but the whole you know, the rest of the nation is like they got who yeah they get they lost they lost cal and they got who they they replaced the cow with the pope give me a break yeah yeah well and he I'm, may be he may be just fine yeah i mean it's uh I it, mean, he, he's gonna have a good war chest i mean they'll have they'll give him an il He'll, he'll get he, some plays. He had a really good run at BYU. I mean, yeah. he, the guy can coach, it, but this is different. This is from the day he got hired. Uh, he's on the hot seat. Uh, one bad year, and they're going to be uh, they're going to be calling for his head. Yeah, yep. but, I mean, he's coming somewhere where if he has more than one wife, they'll run him off. <laughs> That's right. So, um, can you say that on the radio? Uh, we don't know anymore. I mean, I guess so. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> got Clay Henry with us here on Ruskin and Zach. Your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky. You know what? It's interesting to me, Clay, that like, okay, like all these guys can, you know, put a game plan together, you know, sc- scout, you know, recruiting goes, you know, it, it varies. Uh, but, you know, to do the job, most people in high division one sports are qualified or more than qualified. But there's something that separates the people who, who can do it and then just it doesn't work out for whatever reason or yeah. the people that obviously have big success like like a John Calipari has it has his his different stops along the way. Yeah, I mean here's what you know about Kentucky. It will it will chew you up and spit you out. That is, you know, that's a different deal. And there's just there's just so many people that can can handle that. Eddie Sutton couldn't. I mean, it just about killed him. And I, I think that we will see a different John Calipari, you know, in the next two years at Arkansas than we've seen the last two years at Kentucky. I talked to Dane Bradshaw last week, and he says, he said, it's a, a different deal when you're trying to prove somebody wrong than it is when you're trying to prove somebody right. And that's where John Calipari is. He's been trying to prove them wrong, that he was over the hill but now he's going to prove he's going to his goal is to prove, you know, Arkansas fans and Hunter Yurchick right, and that's a lot more fun. Yeah. 
and, and you know, you're hundred percent right. I mean, it, that job will chew. It's, it's like, it's say that of, again, say that again. No, um, <laughs> it, it's, it, it is a high pressure job. And, and he, I mean, he was there for what, what was it? 15, 15, 15 years. 15 years. And, and this, and, you know, and he, I don't want to say this is a step down in pressure, but I think it's a different kind of pressure. No, it's, it, it's not the same at all. It's a, it's, it a, is, it's different. I think there's going to be a honeymoon phase, which he probably didn't get at Kentucky. That's exactly and, what I and, wrote. And then yep. he's going to get, and and then the, the expectation is going to be, hey, you know, we're paying you eight and a half. I mean, there, there's a there's a real expectation that you know we're not going out in the second round, uh, we're not going out in the third round. We want to be in the final four and competing for national titles. And I think that's when you know kind of yeah. rubber hits the or meets the road for him. But you know what? That's what he that's that's what he wants. He didn't want anything else. I mean, it's it's you know pressure is about what you put on yourself and what you feel. But it it's it was it was crazy at Kentucky, and he he couldn't stay there any longer. Um, and I mean, to, in some ways, it reminds me a little of the Petrino deal. Is he needed some place to go, and Arkansas was perfect. And to be real honest, I think Arkansas is perfect for John right now. You know, I think he's he's going to enjoy it, and there ain't any doubt that he's going to find great players because that's just what he does. Right. That's right. That's what he does. I don't care. And I mean, I don't know how he got Marcus Camby, but that dude was, he was a horse and he had horses at at Memphis. And that's what, you know, that's what Dane Bradshaw and I talked about. He grew up, he was in Memphis playing at white station when, you know, when coach Cal was there and, and saw what was going on there. And it was like every player in the city wanted to play for coach Cal. It, it's very rare that you get a situation like this with a, a legendary Hall of Fame head coach leaving, no. where yeah, it's mutually it's, it's beneficial not. for both, where it could be mutually beneficial for both sides. He wasn't going to last another twelve months there if if he didn't win the national title or get them to the Final Four. They were going to run him out of town. Um, so he gets to sort of reset his clock. It doesn't cost well, Arkansas anything, and and he's happy. They go and they get one of their own. It's a big pep rally. It seems like this worked out at least, you know, on April fifteenth. It seems like it worked out for both sides. Hey, they, it saved saved Kentucky thirty three. Yeah, million. and that, yeah. that's another thing is Kentucky, you know, doesn't have was, to pay the huge okay. buyout. Yeah, yeah, um, and it's you know, and, and it, it's it couldn't be much better to be honest. And and let's let's you know, we don't like to look back. I don't like to look in the rearview mirror. But but Arkansas needed some place to go after Eric Musselman, and I mean, I didn't know what was going to happen. Into yeah. To, you know, I I told uh, Hunter at the deal Wednesday just before he went up on the stage. I said, "You're a rascal. You pull, you know, like he pulled a rabbit out of the, you know, out of the hat." And I mean, it's it's not one of those little rabbits. <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah. I mean, it's a major deal. And hey, Clay, he got his first. Uh, we got the first commit. Uh, it's the oh. seven two, and I'm going to put Ivicic. Yeah, Zavonmir. Zavonmir. You can just you can do the same thing they did. The big V. Well, he is Z. the uh, he's yeah. the first one, and I th- I think we all kind of saw that coming. Um, there, I bet you. I don't bet, so I mean this is, but I mean everybody bets on anything. a friendly I mean, this wager. Is, this is like there ought to be an over under in, on the Saracen app. How many seven footers will be on the roster coming up? Three. Uh, yeah, three. That, so that's the over under, Derek. You, you go over or under? Um, I'll say two and a half. You'll say two and a half. Then DQ, uh, DQ. I'll go under seven with footers. Two. I'll go over two. Or under. I'll okay. go under three. I'll go three. He loves. No, bigs. you got to go over or under. He, oh, sorry, over. He, 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 said, okay. he loves bigs, and it, that that he gets it, it makes sense. Well, and look at look at where the game is. I mean, who who are the terrors the last two years in uh, in college basketball? Well, it was Sonogo at UConn. It was Edie, and it was uh, you know uh, the big guy that UConn had this year. What Klingman? Uh, I mean, yeah. the, 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 these Clean. are yeah, these are the guys. These are these are the uh, the guys that are. Uh, it's kind of the pendulum swinging the other way in the college game. Uh, you know, big guys are less important in the professional game now, well, but in, they matter a whole lot. It seems in college basketball right so now. So I think I think Coach Cal talked about it a little bit that because of the waivers and because of the transfer and the portal, there's so many more older players in the game, and it's become a lot more physical than it than it was say three four five years ago well that's what's going on and they're they're not 
they're letting you play in the paint, well, you better have somebody big. You better have somebody that their hands are above your hands because they're, they're not calling fouls in there. They're letting it. They're letting yes, you they go are. at it. Yep. This is a guy. And, that... I'm, and I kind of like it, to be honest. I don't want – I mean, I heard Nolan scream it forever and ever. Let them play. Let them play. And that, I've seen that a little bit. Now, they do call stuff out on the perimeter of the hand checks, and I don't like that. And, you know, John talked about playing Nolan. is like, man, they attacked you. They, you know, you get off the bus and they're, they're like, come into our lair. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> this we're gonna, guy, we're going to attack you. According to some of the, just, the, I, I've never seen this. I've seen him play when he was here. I've watched a whole lot of him outside. Of, but I'm, they're, they're saying this is lottery type guy. At seven two, he's got an outside game. He can put the ball on the floor. Yep. yep. Um, this isn't a back to the basket. Great three point shooter. Yeah. This isn't a yep. back to the basket traditional big. Um, no, he's the, a he's a he's a five. I mean a four, not a five. Right. But in whatever we saw this year, I, I don't I, I don't think it's what you take to the bank because he was trying to figure it out. He never, you know, he got here and was eligible. I think it was, it might have been right at the start of the SEC yep. season. Yeah, it was yeah, right he, before they played Arkansas. And they tried to play him a little bit. And it's like, well, he doesn't he doesn't quite get it. He doesn't know. If they call a play, it's like, hey, how about it? How about you give it to me in Croatian? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever. Run floppy. <laughs> yeah, run floppy. Yeah. floppy. yeah. Yeah, he played in 15 <laughs> games this Do year. Do we know what floppy is? Yes. I did, that, went right, that went right past me. What is floppy, Zach? Floppy. You're the expert. Uh, pro, uh, very simply, it's, it's a double pick. You run along a, a guy along the baseline. He comes out on the wing open for a three. If you so catch if you're the it, big, you're setting the pick. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the second half of it is when the, when the three or the two gets to the wing, you, the big then spins, sets up. He's immediately on the block and he's Good. got a okay. guy. In. Yeah. I like that play. I've seen it a lot. Yeah, it's an NBA it play. Floppy. I mean, a lot yeah. of teams run it. You just, you're running off a double pick on the baseline. And as soon as you catch the ball, you're either going to shoot it or you're going to drop right. it to the big. Yeah. Right. DQ, did I get that right? You're the only one with coaching experience. Yeah, that sounds right. Thank you. Yeah, DQ does have extensive she uh, coaching. Run experience. floppy. Yeah, they she run floppy, run floppy in the uh, in the. Uh... Well, we did something like that when I played basketball in high school. There you go. It wasn't named that, but. All right, so they have one player, with uh, yes. with Ivicic from and, uh, from Kentucky, and, and I, I would imagine this week you're probably going to see the bulk of that yeah. roster fill up. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, just a matter of uh, you know, time and uh, you know whatever happens, people will be excited about it. That'll be mm -hmm. uh. That'll be for sure. We got Clay Henry with us here for the hour, 866-285-4005. You want to text us here on the McClarty Daniel hotline. The uh, drive home is uh, powered by Mr. Sparky. So um, I forget what we were talking about before we were um, um, uh, talking about uh, the, the commitment here, but um, I did have a couple more things I wanted cicadas. to ask. Well, not but after the cicadas. <laughs> but we were talking about Cal. And uh, I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But well, uh, uh, give me your impressions of the spring game. Uh, you, you, you... Yeah, so I, I'm gonna I gotta kind of beg off of that a little bit. I've watched a few highlights, but y'all y'all probably already forgotten. I told y'all where I was going this past weekend. Uh, my daughter, somewhere in late December, she bought really good seats. Oh, that's right. Yep, yep, to yep, that, uh, oh, Arrowhead to that's see Messi. Messi. He was Ruskin was grum he was grumbling about missing that. How was Messi? Oh, he was. I mean, he was. He was messy. I mean, he was the goat. I mean, he 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 scored. He got an assist. They let him take a free kick outside the the penalty area. I mean, and he hit a knuckler that missed by an inch. Mm. You know that everybody's like, "Oh my gosh!" Hey. You know, it's like you know you see a lot of them. They just their field goals. They go. He just goes sailing straight up. His was diving and coming. His his goal was from like thirty three yards out and. Uh, the goalie just kind of looked and was like, "What do you do?" I mean, there's nothing. It was in the upper do? upper ninety. It, and, it is uh, so cool to be able to. And soccer's not. I mean, you weren't raised on it. I mean, it's not. A, it's a sport you sort of come around to. But to get to witness pure greatness, yeah. And, and that's. You know, I mean, it's so rare to see a guy like that. Yeah. So you, you have to understand, my daughter uh, Sarah, who's uh, principal at Westside in Rogers, she grew up playing soccer. She started playing soccer when she was four, and it was in Tulsa. And then she played for a good club there, and then was part of the first Comets team in Arkansas. Then she played college soccer and then she played some adult soccer leagues. And so she's been playing basically all her life. And it was like a dream for her. I mean, Messi's 37 and he's been the goat for about half of her life. And she's gone to, you know, 
uh, Copa America games. She'll travel to watch, you know, Chile and Columbia. I mean, she, she's going to go see those games. She's got college teammates that are in England that, you know, they keep up with the Premier League. So this was a dream for her. And, I mean, you know, I looked at her, and I could tell it was, you know, an outer body experience. <laughs> and all the people around us were from different countries. I mean, there, it was – they, you know, you have 24,000 that are season ticket holders for Sporting KC, and they were all there and they had the good seats in the end zone. But then the other, you know, 48,000, they're from everywhere. I mean, in the, in the parking lot, you know, you see the license plate, lots of Texas, you know, and but they were from everywhere. I mean, it's, it's everybody's dream to see this guy. And it was in a, you know, a huge, you know, stadium. So you, you could get, you could get tickets. Um, I turned around, there were four guys, I think they were from, from Japan and they're high-fiving me. We didn't know what each other were saying, but I understood Messi. Yeah. And that's cool. Yeah. So it, that, that was really, you know, really entertaining. We stayed at my brother's house. He's Alabama, you know, fan and, and he'd watched the Alabama spring game and, and whatever. Um, so it, it was, uh, it was pretty good, but I have watched the, you know, the highlights and I've read everything. And I, I mean, I think it was orchestrated the way spring games are, you know, you're going to score some points. You're, you know, you're going first team against the, you know, the weaker guys. And so it's, but, it, you know, everybody likes this offensive line. And that's the major takeaway for, for me is that you got a guy that can coach quarterbacks. He's got some talent. He's got some running backs. The tackles are immensely improved, but I mean, that's not saying a whole lot, but it's, it's, They've got a chance to run the ball, and that really helps your passing game. And you might be able to get some matchups and some one on ones that that you're gonna that you're gonna have some fun with. Uh, we've got um, a former Arkansas player has just committed. Tremont Mark, uh, yeah, has got well, Texas going to Texas. Clay, yep. I I forgot that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> Where'd you say what school? The that junior college down in Austin. Okay. He's a tea sipper now. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Hey, good luck to him. And I mean, it's like, you know, here's the deal. And I, and I said this during the time. So don't, don't say I just came up with this line, but I watched Arkansas play Kentucky twice. And there wasn't one player in the 13 scholarship players on the Arkansas bench that John Callip, Perry would have traded with one of his players, not one. So, you know, d- don't fret on any of this stuff. He's going to bring in studs. You know, I don't know what this first wave will be like. I know the second wave will be decidedly different, but he's going to pick his players. And if he would have really wanted Mark, they would have ponied up with, you know, with a nice NIL deal. So good luck down there in Austin. Uh, mm-hmm. while, while we got you, um, is that where is that where that school is? That's the, where that school is. Still big, there, yeah. That big, Lucky that guess. That big crater in the center of Texas. Um, Chuck dis- Well, Chuck actually made me happy. He disappointed several, uh, well, multiple hog fans uh, during the Calipari uh, uh, press conference because he didn't jazz finger when he did the, uh, the the hog call. Clay, how do you do the hog call? Jazz fingers or no? I don't think I even know. I mean, I. I've done it, and you know it's. I go to Razorback Club meetings. I've spoken at Razorback Club meetings where I'm on the on the podium, and you know it's like that's how you end it. So I know I've done it. Um, you know I've. I don't. I think I, I just, stand with Chuck on this. By the when way, when you say you you wiggle them, yes. Okay, is that what a jazz? Yes, that's is? jazz. Yeah. It's a. It's I a guess I do squad. that. Okay, all right. I think yeah. it's okay either way. I stand with Chuck. We don't. Oh. So, and, and again, so I use. I use do you try when you when you pull your arm down? Do you like? Do you like? I'm going to pull my triceps. I'm going to pull it so hard. You no, know, it's like no, 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 no. See, I try and imagine re- what DQ's dad would do. I mean, he's you know he he's a man of the land, and and I don't see him using jazz fingers during a a, a hog call. Well, I think you just. I think it's. So this is kind of taking you back. So when we had my, my dad's uh, memorial service, it was at uh, the auditorium at Little Rock Central, which is a massive place. It seats about 2,800, I think. And my stepmom wanted seniors. And so uh, we got 
uh, 20 ladies from the AME church in the East End, and they came and they sang. And they sang, you know, gospel songs. I mean, just it was just wonderful. And when they sang, they went side to side. You know, they rocked. And there was one lady that she didn't rock. And so when we had the reception, I went up to her and I was like, how come you didn't rock? And I'm up there on the stage because I spoke. I did, you know, Nolan and I did the eulogy. And she goes, some days you feel it, some days you don't. And, but I think that's what the jazz fingers, I think think there's some days that you, that's what you want to do. And then there's some days that, okay, I'm going to call the hogs, but I don't feel it today. All right. That's fair. Yeah. That's a long answer. It's okay. (laughs) Okay, we are uh, talking with Clay Henry here on Ruskin and Zach. Drive home powered by Mr. Sparky. We'll uh, come back here in a moment and do the polls and all that stuff. Coming right up here on ESPN Arkansas and on the Hit That Line Now app. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. If you're looking for a company to dispose of your waste responsibly, Cards Recycling is your best option in Arkansas. Operated with customers in mind, Cards takes the job out of your hands. Now with a state-of-the-art transfer station in Springdale, Cards accepts residential, commercial, and industrial waste, including construction and demolition material. Waste collection for businesses of all sizes, dumpsters, roll-offs, compactors, you name it, Cards can handle it. No job too big or too small, Cards does it all. Visit them online at CardsRecycling.com or give them a call, 877-59-CARDS. Testosterone levels naturally drop in men with age, often causing a lack of energy, anxiety, weight gain, diminished libido, and performance issues. Don't suffer in silence. Call Maverick Male Medical in Fayetteville today for more about testosterone or weight loss therapy. They focus on your excellent care, optimal health, and performance. Call Maverick Male Medical today at 305-8206. That's 305-8206. Or go to Maverick Male Medical. Dot com. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8SPARKY. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch. Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics. Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? (laughs) With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Call J.T. Finley at 479-521-4220 or come by and see him for a quote at 2142 North College Avenue in Fayetteville. Get ready for adventure with unbeatable deals at Wheels RV now through the end of February. We're rolling out the red carpet for you with our exclusive employee pricing event on select in-stock trailers. That's right. You pay what we pay. It's our way of saying thank you for choosing Wills RV. Employee pricing on select models. RV show pricing on all new and used inventory. Hurry in. This offer is for a limited time only. Visit Wills RV today for details and to start planning your next great adventure. Seek, explore, discover with Wills RV. 
Lindsay and Associates are celebrating their 50th year in the real estate business and are the leading real estate company in Northwest Arkansas. Whether you're listing, selling, or leasing, Lindsay and Associates can handle all your real estate needs. With over 200 professionally trained agents and three convenient locations in Fayetteville, Rogers, and Bentonville, Lindsay and Associates is a winning choice. Go to lindsay.com to search all the correct real estate inventory. At Lindsay and Associates, we bring great neighbors together. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at precisiondoornwa.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClarty daniel.com Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spas' 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000 and construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy above-ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi-in-ground pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. Hello, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Darby Bobby with the 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast out there this evening and overnight. We'll watch for a few spotty to scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area. It could be a strong one in there. We'll keep an eye on it for you through the morning hours. Temperatures don't drop much, only the low 60s. As we go throughout the day on Tuesday, another chance for a few hit and miss showers and storms. Could be a severe one in there. We'll be watching that very closely on Tuesday as well. Highs in the upper 70s, windy for us. And then we quiet down for Wednesday with high temperatures back in the low 80s. That's Get Ready Weather, only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. The most influential show in Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. We're back here visiting with Clay Henry on Ruskin and Zach, 866-285-4005. Join us. On the McClarty Daniel hotline with a text to, to uh, Clay Henry, and uh, we've got the poll questions uh, yeah. coming up here. And, uh, of course, if you missed it, uh, Cal got a, uh, a commitment from uh, Avicic, his, uh, one of the seven-footers down there with him at Kentucky. That is uh, breaking this hour here on uh, on Ruskin and Zach. It's uh, Zvonimir Avicic. That's his name. Big Z. The Big Thank Z. You. That's right. That's right. I love a good media notes pronunciation guy. So there you go. <laughs> Zvonimir Ivisic. Okay, uh, Zach, you got the polls. Yeah, here. you're asking at Zach X polls brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Clay, you ready? Yeah, th- uh, these are yours. Derek didn't anything to do with these. I mean, just just call it Zach's poll. Um, uh, we 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 have a collaboration at times. Actually, one of these today is uh, is not okay. Good, not good. not mine. Uh, Clay, should you have to watch a video and pass a test to operate the office coffee maker? Yeah, there's been people screw them up. Yep, 73.4% of you said yes. Clay, if one of your friends decides to grow a mustache, is it bro code that you have to ask him if he's a cop? (laughs) I think it is. 70.1% of you said yes. Clay, at this very moment, is the clock on your microwave displaying the correct time? Oh, I think it's fast. Okay. Yeah. 70.1% of you said yes. Uh, escalators, do you walk or ride? Oh, I mean, it just depends on what I need to do, but mostly I ride. 76.4% of you uh, said you ride. Now, you're the perfect person. What, what about the, you know, the, the walking machines or whatever it is? like The, wa- the, the moving sidewalks? Yeah. You do better you, be walking. Do you, just, do you just hold on to the rails? No, like the, you have to walk. That's what they're there for. Yeah. In, I mean, I hold on the rail and I'd get a wide stance 
and make people go. Mm, mm, is that the pit? Mm. Now, if you, if you don't, because they've got their little pool thing in this, yeah, there's not enough room. But I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh, Clay, now that you're the perfect person to ask for this, but you have to promise me you're not going to get mad. No, I mean that's like the other time please, you says please, that you, please you don't have me, to answer this. So don't just tell me you're not going to say any bad words. <laughs> I don't say bad words. Should sports yes, out, uh, yes, okay, I, thank I won't. You. Yeah. Should sports outlets be required to post or cover WrestleMania results? I mean, I think so. I think so. Really? That's so, an upset. Forty point eight percent of you said yes. So so I'm I'm in high school working at the Arkansas Gazette. And it's Tuesday afternoon, about five o'clock. They have, you know, they had uh, Midwest Wrestling at Robinson Auditorium every Tuesday night. And the the promoter, I can, I don't know who he was, but it wasn't it wasn't Vince McMahon back then. You know, this is fifty years ago. He came in and asked my dad. He says, uh, "You the last two weeks y'all haven't printed the results." And he goes. But you call it midnight. He says, you know, Tuesday night, you know, during the summer, you know, we close down at, you know, 11, 15. That's, you know, the city edition. And he says, I can give you the results. Yeah, I was going to say, he, I mean, it's all scripted. You yeah. should know who won. Yeah. I mean, and we all cheered. We all cheered. <laughs> Danny Hodge against against uh, Mr. Wrestling 2. We knew Danny was going to win. Uh, I'm Clay, sorry. And Clay, when it rains, is it a father's responsibility to tell his children we needed that? Absolutely. 85.8% of you said, yeah, <laughs> that we got that one clean. That's good. Uh, Clay, have you ever stubbed any of your middle three toes? Oh, gosh, yeah. It's excruciating. It's the I mean, worst. You do it, and you do it, and you think, well, that didn't hurt. <laughs> and then it, and then it's like three seconds later, and, I mean, you're going to throw up. Yep. You're going to throw up. Uh, Clay, yeah. did your parents ever look at you and think, I did all I could? <laughs> I don't think so. 77.2% of so. you said yes. Well, no, I don't think they did. Yeah. Uh, if you tried out, could you get the part of the fool at a Renaissance fair? <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. All right. Be honest. Could you spell Renaissance without looking? Capital R. Okay. Then that's where we're going. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, Renaissance was is not a word that uh, that that we spell commonly. Um, Clay, is everyone out to get you? Yes or no? Okay, I got a question. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be and this? You can use this next week. I'll give you. You can you can say this. You know, you can just say that it's ours. You don't have to say Clay. Okay. You know, if I text you sometimes, Zach, you don't have to say Clay Henry texting. You can just use it as your own. I text in Whoa. Phil. Well, if it's good, I like to give it. credit. No, but but well, sometimes I don't want credit. Okay. Um, well, then you're gonna have to put that. But you there. can use it. You can use it. Okay. Just, it's it's for it's to help. I mean, it's not to, it's not to harm or not to dis. Uh, I don't need credit. I mean, I probably did at one point in my life, but I don't. I don't care anymore. Um, but what was I going to tell you? Oh boy! Oh, this <laughs> is how it ends. You were starting with "Would you rather." I know. I was going to ask up, and I don't know what it is. All right. Well, we'll just uh, we'll keep motoring come, right it'll, along. It'll here. hit me. It'll okay. hit me. It'll hit me. Uh, Clay, is everyone out to get you? Yes or no? Oh, no. I know what I was going to ask. Perfect. Would you rather, would you rather be a Marlboro man or a Renaissance man? Well, I'd rather you can be use a, that next week. I'd you rather be a Marlboro it. man. I think I'm going to go Renaissance. Me too. Yeah. Me, yeah. I think it, yeah. it says a lot. It's Marlboro man doesn't have to wear tights and, uh, you know, prance Absolutely. around the castle. I no. mean, you wear flannel. That's right. I mean, rena a Renaissance man does not wear flannel. Ride a horse. I mean, yeah. I, and, and I, I mean, I wear my I have lung cancer? Uh, Tony Lama <laughs> boots. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I thought of that. You can use it in your poke. Okay. Which is worse, mom mad or dad mad? In my house, it was definitely mom mad. And she would say, You're going to get it when your dad comes home. And I thought, Thank God. <laughs> All right, last one. Uh, do you think you could win the Masters if you started on the green from the furthest point from the hole? I don't get it. If I put uh, you never, you don't have to drive. You, all, you you're just putting. Oh no, no, okay. no! I've, so I've got the yips. Okay. I mean, Ruskin I would just. Thinks he could I, win it the would Masters. be. It would be. You've seen people go to putt putt, and you, and it's like you know when it's four inches away, it's a gimme, right? Pick right. it up. You're you're in. <laughs> 
But if you have to put it in, I, I've got the yips. And, I mean, I would get a foot away. Yep. And so, plus I would be on one side of the green. And you just put it off there. So, no, I, I don't think I could even. Okay. Well, those yeah. are hey, exact Taylor games. Moore was, you know, got 20th, you know, Arkansas grad. I don't know if you paid any attention to that, but that was a good finish for him. I was watching a, a, the athletics and the nationals yesterday. Why? Oh, I, I, why? I don't, oh, I don't, I don't have you, an answer. You have, you have, there is no hope for you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls. They're brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479 225 8809. No, there is no hope. Although he has glasses now. <laughs> yeah, so got glasses, we've, got, we've so made some see. progress after years. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. Yes. Have you got married yet, Derek? No, it's in June. Oh, it's in June. Yep. But y- y'all have already picked out the cake and done all that? Oh, yeah. Oh, what, yeah. what flavor cake is it? Well, it's going to have uh, like four layers, I think. So they're in their different uh, layers or la- different it, flavors. Is it like Neapolitan? I don't know. They um, um You don't know? Well, I forgot. You went to the tasting. I did go to the tasting. I, I know one of the layers is. Um, you just said it's all good. Yeah, I mean it's it's all really good. <laughs> Every layer. Okay. Is all right, I interrupted. I apologize. No, that's okay. We gotta. We'll take a break here, and we'll uh, come back, and uh, we'll find out what everybody learned. Clay Henry with us here on Ruskin and Zach. Stay with us. Speaking truth every afternoon. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline to join the local conversation on ESPN Arkansas. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel has a vehicle to fit both your style and budget. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, you're never too far from a good deal. Visit McClartyDaniel.com to find your next ride. Find your next ride with McClarty Daniel at a price you'll love. Join the conversation on ESPN Arkansas at 866-285-4005. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at precisiondoornwa.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClarty Daniel. Daniel.com. Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spas' 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000 and construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy above-ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi-in-ground pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. The madness continues at Mad Rooster Beer Company in Fayetteville. Mad Rooster brews high-quality, innovative beer selections, including IPAs, stouts, fruited sours, and seltzers across their 30 taps. Mad Rooster has eight big screens and key game audio, so you won't miss a single minute of the action. Don't settle for an ordinary watch party when you can experience all the madness at Mad Rooster. Mad Rooster Beer Company, brewed locally in Fayetteville at 1107 Southwest Avenue. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Craft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234. 
479-999-1234. for QC Kinetics. WG Equipment is your home for New Holland ag and construction equipment, sales, parts, and service. For high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators, WG Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, WTEquip.com. Time for another splendid episode of the Smarter Guys at Stith Plumbing and HVAC. Can't buy a sandwich or even a cup of coffee. Not much of anything you can buy for a dollar, except for the first month's membership to the Stith Shield Protection Plan and the annual spring air conditioner tune-up. But that's not all. There's the fall furnace tune-up. And two 86-point safety inspections. And the annual plumbing inspection. And you can get started for only $1 for the first month's membership. Call 751-9691 or online at smarterguys at stith.com. Tune in again to hear Brett say... Postage stamp. A stamp is still less than a dollar. But plan membership is still worth more. Oh, much more. On the next Cling to Your Seats episode of the Smarter Guys at Stiff Plumbing and HVAC. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. We don't care if you love them or you hate them. All we ask is that you keep listening. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. All right, we've returned here. Uh, Clay Henry with us on Ruskin and Zach. And uh, as we're a little bit short on time here, DQ, what did you uh, learn today? Well, you know the flag that's on the moon? Yes. Yeah. Apparently, they never planned on putting a flag on the moon until like three months before they went up into space. And it was purchased for five fifty at Sears. Wow! Ah, shout out Sears. They were well still done. around. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back then they were booming. Yes. I, now that would have been like a marketing thing today. I mean, they, they oh, got yeah. a flag on the moon. Amazon would have been all over That's that. Right. Yeah, they'd put a logo yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah, whole thing. Five dollars is expensive back then, though. Yeah, five dollars is expensive now. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> I learned the sodium lauryl sulfate in toothpaste suppresses sweetness receptors in your tongue, which is why juice tastes bitter after you brush your teeth. Very good. How about that? That is interesting. Sodium lauryl sulfate. Sounds sounds natural. Yeah, yeah <laughs> sounds like something you want to eat. So what, what's your what's your favorite flavor of gum? And do you do you uh consciously go for sugar free? I uh what are those cubes I you get? You should what are those you called? should yes the ice cubes. Yes, I think that they're in the little tub. Yeah, whatever they are. I, I love. Them. I, I have those gum. stashed all over the house. I have like in the car. Can I have you like ride me about the Altoids. Yeah, but I don't. I don't go through you know nineteen pieces of gum in a show. I don't go through any gum in the show. You can't can't do the right, smacking. Uh, right. Thing, That's know? why the Altoids work. I see. It also keeps my nasal passages clear. Oh, I see. So I don't so, sound all gummed up. Yeah. So <laughs> I stayed with my oldest brother. He's got a condo at the plaza in kansas city right and in his study he has a student chair from little rock central Hmm. and you know you know how you know it is why because there's just gum underneath (laughs) i mean it's just massive amounts oh yeah isn't it sad yeah very yeah they don't let they still don't let them chew gum in class is that still a rule well well it's it's kind of like speeding. They don't they don't want you to go you know over seventy five on the interstate, but they don't stop you. Oh, I see. So I mean, it's kind of like I remember one time I was interviewing a coach, and I was like, "That was uh, that was holding on that play, wasn't it?" He's like, "Did you see a penalty flag on the <laughs> field?" <laughs> no, and he goes, "Well, then it wasn't holding." <laughs> Yep. I think that was Pat Jones. Pat Jones is one of my favorite interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, why, why couldn't NASA have just, you know, gotten a flag? Why'd they have to go to Sears? 
I mean, was, you'd think well, they'd have one. Just I think it was around. probably they're like, okay, we're about to blast off. Somebody get a flag. Well, that was that was the you know that was like okay, Sears has got to have it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that was a pretty do, prolific guys, store back do, then. DQ, do you remember Sears? I do. Okay, wow. really? Yeah, wow. yeah, I hated going it's an upset. into that side of if, the mall. If anybody, <laughs> if anybody bought tools, they were from Sears. Craftsman, were craftsmen, right? right? Craftsman yep. tools, yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Oh, today's the uh, birthday of the eraser. Like Inc- the, the like pencil eraser? Yeah, oh, okay. in 1770. Hey, uh, English chemist out. Joseph Priestley. Uh, noticed that um, the rubber he had was a uh, racing pencil. There you go. Whiteout's better. Yeah. Now nah, he sniffs it. Liquid so, paper. Yeah, he sniffs that stuff. So we got to keep it out of here. Who invented? Whose relative invented liquid paper? I used to know this. I have no idea. Oh, I know this. Uh, anyway. Oh, it's um the guy from the monkeys, Michael Nesmith's uh, mom. Invented liquid paper. Yeah. Yeah, that that is a useless bit of that's a yes, what did it you is. learn right that there. Is, yeah. Well, save but it for tomorrow. That's why you, that's why we have you here. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I knew that, but uh well, I don't know. Uh Clay, thank you so much. We appreciate uh, your and we time. had fun, didn't we? Yes, we, did. we did. Always. Yes. Clay. Sixty four degrees. Zach. I got it. Sixty four degrees. The cicadas. It's gonna be a test next week. Okay. <laughs> 